Vintage Cube. Play now in two different fonts. Walk up them stairs. To draw three cards. Oh, I will definitely draw three cards. As if, uh, looks like Asher Burner Pal or something. Hmm? The, 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 the guy in the statue looks like a Mesopotamian king. Oh, okay, okay, yeah, yeah. Asher Burner Pal being, um, Assyrian? Yeah, I think he was an Assyrian king. I mostly know it from the uh, They Might Be Giants song, The Mesopotamians. The means, yeah, the Mesopotamians. <laughs> We're the Mesopotamians. Sargon. Um, don't remember something else in Ashburn. Um, Nepal. I remember Sarkon. No, not Sarkon. It's Sargon. Sargon. Sarkon. We have, I don't think we have Sarkons around here in Vintage Cube. Uh, no. Uh, I'll quickly make a look, but I don't think any. We've got... God. They took out some cards I liked, but they also put in some cards. So there's some... So, uh, as, as has tended to be the, the, the uh, par for the course here, I'm again doing the, the Phantom Swiss League because... Honestly, because it, it's, it's better for the stream, because it doesn't take 15 minutes to launch, because yeah. it lets us, you know, have fun with our deck. Hello, everybody! Glad you, you've, yes, the cube is here. Yes, yes. So. Okay. Uh, so, uh, the big changes right now is they took out big, bo big bolus for little, for new bolus. Oh, right, right. War. We have to war the spark, the cube. Yeah. We took out Urborg, Tomb of Yogmoth for Blast Zone. Okay. Abrupt Decay out for Pernicious Deed. Can see it. Ojitai out for Fractured Identity, which is a stupid card. Dreadboar for Bedevil. Kiora for Hydroid Crisis. Most of these seem reasonable. Yeah. All right. Week, league ends in two weeks. It, two weeks. I think it said it ends on my birthday. Yep, right there. Cool. Yeah. So. Oh, here's a good thing. They've added a card. Oh. It's a, they've added, they took out Chandra Flamecaller, which I like Chandra well enough. For a card called Past in Flames. Oh, oh boy. Past in Flames. So you, there's multiple Yogs Wills is what I'm hearing. Mm -hmm. uh, do I have the right eyes? I'm still looking at the... Oh, oh right. Sorry, I gave you the, the... Right, that's the downside of this. Let me, let me fix that. Yeah. I can, I can, I can withstand the there it trick is. of the man. Mm, there we go. We're in the queue. Yeah, this is yes. Vintage. Yep, Vintage. A format you could already play Spore Frog in, but we're unlikely to. Vintage. We, we, we started like 15 seconds ago. Yeah, Spore Frog reprint. Mm-hmm. Spore Frog reprint. Pretty good. All right. Up first, we have Below the Cut, Lightning Strike, Above the Cut. Um, thought sees a lot what? of expensive cards. Progenitus, yeah. Sphinx, Sun Titan, Avenger. Oh, my God. The two cards I'm looking at here are Thoughtseize and Demir Signet. Yeah, it's weird that Demir Signet is the other thing I was thinking too, right? Like, yeah, it's like we have the, <laughs> one of the better Signets, one of the better one mana interaction cards, and then uh -huh. like a bunch of weird stuff. Yeah, like, well, like Progenitus has its power in Natural Order decks. Sphinx of the Steel Wind has its power as a either a like the lesser of a Reanimator target or the lesser of a Tinker target. Uh, Sun Titan has a lot of power. Celestial Colonnade is pretty good. Um, yeah, Baral and Empty in the same pack. Yeah. Like, to me, I think it's... Again, I like the Thought Seas versus Signet choice. Yeah. And um, because we're on both, maybe that means we should just go with the Signet. Yeah, Signet is a little more open of a choice. Um, yeah, I, I love... I do like having Thought Seas in the cube as a like actual piece of interaction that's very, very powerful. Uh, Treachery is a, uh, straight Treachery. forward card. Warren Power Stone is around if we want to continue on the rocks plan. Uh, we got Green Suns, which there's two Green Suns in the, in the, pa in the, in the cube now. They took out Genesis Wave for, for the finale. New finale of Green Sun. Yeah. So yeah. Treach so Treachery is less good in this cube. It, it's less good, but it's still incredible. Still pretty good. Conscripts is... Conscripts is, 
like I, I'm thinking I'm thinking between treachery, Warren Power Stone, opposition. Opposition could be very like opposition's rude. Yeah, this is a this could be a good time to pick opposition. Like, and then maybe we can find out. Right. I, I'm sadly we can't like just pick up like the pack rat there or something, but we can find like hermit or like anything that works with opposition this if we can land this early that's really good i so treachery is very very powerful so is the worn power stone there's a lot in here that's part of the the trick of cubes that there's so so much power there's the finale <laughs> yeah speak of the devil uh pia sort of works with opposition. Oh, president Eric, thank you for the sub yeah there's the there's pester might right next to our uh... <laughs> there's actually a fair amount of stuff in here yeah, I just strip mine just flat if we want to try to to play that round, pick that up, try to find a crucible. Yeah, strip mine can basically be played in most decks. Um, yeah. Uh, thank you for the submasters. Uh, I, I appreciate it again. I so yeah, honestly, I'm th I'm thinking of like s still trying to be stable on like the strip mine here, and an early strip mine means that we can find the uh, ah, you're crazy about. Thank you also for the sub. Uh, yeah. Well, I'm good with strip mine here. Pia is weak enough that maybe she'll wheel, and like, there's lots of creatures. Like yeah. That uh, all right. Bonfire gifts, maze of it, nature's claim. Just kind of looking around here. Xenagos is a token generator. Xenagos does generate tokens. For... Also, it's just kind of okay. Yeah. If we're, if we're looking at like things that work with opposition, just make token. Xenagos zeros for make token. Yeah, um, we're, we're very likely to be in green with opposition, so tracker could just be like a value pick. Right. Um, and there is anime dead. Could just play an anime dead at some point. There's some there's some choices in here. What do yeah. you feel? On? I'm trying to figure out if Xenagos is the route I want to go, or if I want to try to find like Bitter Blossom more style, I, because the the double color on Xenagos doesn't speak too much to me, and I don't like that very much. I think we but can I, maybe pass but like Zenigos. maybe maybe we pick up the tracker because again green is somewhere I want to be because of like hermit. Yeah. And, so Xenagos is fine. Okay. Oh. Okay. Okay. Uh. So I'm immediately yeah, I'm, I'm immediately looking at birds, but uh this pack also has multiple strong signets. Uh, it has scoos plus imperial seal has some top end threats. Uh, animate dead if you remove three of the letters becomes animate dead. Oh. Indeed. If that were a Vampiric Tutor, I'd be more excited about it than Imperial Seal. But it's, Imperial Seal's still good. Yeah, it's still quite real. I'm interested in the bird because of, like, one of the one of the things about birds is that, like, this can be our ramp that, once we're ramped, is, is, yeah. is prevention. Obviously, yeah, it's weaker to removal, but... Yeah, Monodorks and Opposition have traditionally played pretty well together. Yeah. Uh, Biogenic Ooze, Cryptic Command, Eureka, the way you lose the game. Yeah, Eureka, you lose the game. Um, I feel like Biogenic Ooze and Cryptic have a hard time existing in the same deck, so you can pick which one you feel like is good for, mm, for us. Okay. This uh... is a pretty good creature. Cryptic Command is the most flexible spell ever printed. Right, the thing with Ooze is that it also has four make an Ooze. And, like, if we have opposition, that can just be the overwhelming you-cannot-recover position. Yeah. Uh, Ooze is... Cryptic's yep. cryptic, though, is my... Yeah, cryptic is cryptic. My feeling with Ooze is that... Sorry. Um, it might wheel. <laughs> Probably won't because uh, Eureka's in the pack, but the, it only it works kind of okay with... Up oh. Huh. So Reclamation only untaps lands. It doesn't give you a full untap. Yeah. Um... So yeah, Venser and Cloudscape, which yeah. is really good. Thirst also is not nothing. Mm -hmm. um, both Venser and... Wow, Venser and Riftwing, both in the same pack right here, right now. I think Venser is a little bit better. Yeah, because it can spell target. Yeah, the Flash. I think we're playing like a... a... Oh, there is Angel of Invention if we're very thirsty. <laughs> I'm gonna go with Venser. Tamio. Like Tamio. So I feel like this, like, okay. So in my mind, this deck is a, like a, a resource denial. 
And Tamio fits on that plan in the sense that, like, we have Venser to bounce or, you know, pseudo counter plus opposition, strip mine, cryptic to answer plus bounce. And, like, yeah. Tamio also fits this plan super well. Yeah, we just vindicate. Maybe we'll wheel gush. Yeah, th th we aren't wheeling out of this pack. This is the. Yeah, what was that? Uh, Baral, Avenger of Zendikar. Avenger of Zendikar? Avenger of Zendikar <laughs> with our monodorks and opposition, huh? Uh huh. Yeah, we're not a Baral deck. Also, all the top ends still hanging out in this pack. Yeah, um, people ha thought the same thing we did. <laughs> yeah. Uh, we could actually cast Avenger of Zendikar, though. Yeah, Avenger, like, again, and if we cast Avenger with opposition, even if it's only for, like, five tokens, like, it's 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 you coming get, like, down. three tokens off of it, you're still probably good. Okay, um, feeling that green sun might be the, 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 the pick here because we have time. Ah, oh, Nick Thameron, thank you for the sub. Uh, uh, Tristani Discordant, also not awful, but a green sun is probably pretty good. The, the flexibility, well, the thing is, this is pack one, and, like, we can find a way to get more green sun targets or we can get more green sun hey, or we could just play the more expensive uh, green sun that we can get anything with right so the only thing this can get that isn't on the list is it can get from grave this can, and it, it can grab from uh it can grab any color green sun is only green creature so green sun is only green but it does shuffle itself back in after you play it which finale does not all right i'm gonna take this nature's claim i feel like that's uh, a card i like to have in this format yeah, Nature's Climb's pretty good. Uh, Green Signet, huh? Mm-hmm. Okay. Also, that means a Black Splash could be on the table. I'm gonna grab Doretti with the Signets. There's, like, a offhand chance, yeah. but not really. Hey! So, but but th th these Signets allow a Mind Twist, in my mind, right? Like, Ooh, if a Mind God. Twist came around in a later pack, I would not feel bad splashing it. That's the... Especially with birds in the backup. Uh, Lotus Bloom... Sack Tribe, Master of the Wild Hunt, huh? Yeah, Master of the Wild Hunt does kind of... So does Murball. Yeah, Murball... Well, the thing is, Master of the Wild Hunt does it quicker. Yeah, does it quicker. Can Green Sun for it. Um, yeah, um... The, the, the yeah, Master of the Wild Opposition. The, the, the cool thing here is that, like, Master we can drop on turn three pretty simply. Birds and two Signets do that. And then, like, Opposition is, is super done. Uh, we passed up both, uh, we, we passed up Splinter Twin, Nicthamron, we passed yeah. up both Conscripts and Pestermite. And Pestermite, so the only thing we could do would be Ex Exarch. I'm not, I'm not gonna hard cut, the Sack Tribe below the cut. Yeah. Like, I, I, I ain't gonna, like, hard shift to a deck that's not gonna work. Uh, yeah. the Black, so, okay, people are talking about Black Splash for Bitter Blossom, and that also seems like a, something I might plan on doing if we get our oh, yeah. opposition. I would just do that to have the card Bitter Blossom in my deck. <laughs> Time Twister. Okay. Time Twisty. Time Mystic. Twisty. Glenelindra Archmage. Misty. Rishdon Port. Garrick Relentless. Garrick Relentless. Time are Twister. We, are we a deck that can make good use of Time Twister? We have lots of cheap spells, is usually what I think of. Right, well, we also have the way of, like, just denying our opponent's mana if we can. Uh, I'm actually looking at the Misty Rainforest or the Elvish Mystic almost more than the Garrick. Yeah, Misty, Misty, Misty we are green-blue. Well, like, so we just... do want fixing for this. Again, this is a deck that contains Cryptic. Mm -hmm. I do want to be able to cast my spells, <laughs> splash bullets in our, yeah, uh-huh. Uh -huh. It's not hard to get a bunch of good fours. That's the thing. That's the trick. That's the... Yeah. That we, that's the super trick. So yeah, I like Misty here. So like we could pick up the Twister as well if we want to like have all the mana, slam the Twister, and then slam our hand down. But I kind of wanted to have the mana. I realize that it's kind of funky to to pass up some of the, the one of the power nine here. But we got botanical versus miscalc. Miscalc, huh? Miscalc is a never dead card. Yeah, Miss Calc does well. We also have Fauna Shaman, uh, Torrential yeah, Gear to a lesser extent. Um, and we got, so what, uh, what are you feeling here? Uh, I'm thinking how hard I care about the mana, like, balance here. Is it enough for, like, just me to pick up Botanical Sanctum and try to make our mana... The thing I like about Sanctum that's really important is that it comes in untapped for birds and such. 
Yeah, that is pretty good for it. And Whereas I, miscalc like, would just be like some interaction that sometimes doesn't work. Yeah, and hopefully we can find some interaction that functions, but like I, I kind of feel like I want to... Here's the thing. I feel like we're going to have a deck that's going to be cutting cards, and if we're at the point where we're already cutting, I want our mana base to look really... No wow, I found the I found the black card. I want to splash, my friend. Oh, Leovold! Shit, I should have taken that time twisty, shouldn't I have? Oh God, we should have taken. Yeah, it. oh, it'll, it'll wheel. It'll be fine. There's no way a time twisties. That's <laughs> people are people are like us. They don't respect that card. Okay. <laughs> nice, nice call. I saw somebody in the the chat said like, either the blue green spam your hand or the Leovold twisty, and I was like, yeah. I mean, I don't know if I like. I don't know if I can rely on Leovold to show up, but this is one of the few black cards I am willing to. If time twister will, I'm will, well willing to splash, especially like this fetch could easily like if we grab a another like a black green duel or a blue black duel, like you know we can we can. Incidentally, they do not seem to have added Narsets to the cube. Ah, uh, ooh, Lanawar Elves, also Watery Grave, the card I just talked about. Yeah, Watery Grave with our Misty to help us cast Leovold. I kind of still want us to be able to get these turn one elves. They seem very important yeah. to our plan. And also, and I think, we passed up Elvish Mystic, Mystic, so... Yeah, so we have Findhorn. If that was, like, is Elves of Deep Shadow in here? I'll check, because that's actually a card we could... <laughs> that would be an want. elf I'd really want, yeah. <laughs> so, okay, so the thing is, we're passing Watery Grave here, and I know we passed another... I think we passed Underground Sea earlier. Uh... Either uh, we might have also passed by you. So, but we do want to find one of those, and I realize this is greedy of me to not just pick it up right now. But I feel like it's very important for us to get the uh, shit. Is that good enough with just the strip mine and the misty? Hmm. But there's also like metamorph. There's metamorph. There's incubation druid. Um. Days to a lesser extent. I feel like I, if I have the ability to crucible, like strip mine, I should pick up crucible plus strip mine. All right, seems pretty good to like, me. Like I know pretty metamorph is cool as hell. I love it, but you really only need misty rainforest to make that good. Hmm, Gaia's cradle, huh? Well, versus counterspell and trigon. Oh, I love trigon in this format. Yeah, Shit. Tri Trigon's pretty dang good. Um, we do have ma mana elves, but Gaius Cradle could whack fire. But not oh, if we're trying oh. to be an opposition deck. That's true, true too. Time Spiral. Huh. Uh, do we want to live that? We can live that dream. You could live there. I actually do like Time Spiral better than... Uh, <laughs> okay, you say... Somebody says Time Spiral is the worst Time Twister. Um, I don't know. I, I, I disagree. I was, I was just saying, I actually like Time Spiral more than uh, yeah. Time Twister. The uh, Copti could actually be good with the Elves. Yeah. Beast Within is just like sideboard removal. We got stacks. Stacks? I mean, we have Master of the Wild Hunt. We have a couple of ways. We have Crucible. Stacks could be real. Finks could be real. Finks is a really, really good sideboard card. Finks, Finks to live. Burnett brings up a pretty important point. Like Finks to live. Like not dying is also like pretty relevant here. I um, okay, fine. I feel like you can't go wrong here. All right, I'm gonna I'm going to admit the fact that I do need to cast cards that allow me to not die at some point Ooh. in the game. I'm probably just gonna chart like... or mini mini Jace or chart. Yeah. Uh, Mini Jace gets a lot better with Leovold. Well, not <laughs> can, not can, necessarily because they draw the one, you know. Ah, right. Yeah, Leovold's not. Yeah. Yeah. There's, there's other effects like that. Um, probably just chart then. We got dorks. Let Birds of Paradise could attack. Yeah. Also, yes. The 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 the, the, the Twister did not. Okay, Twister didn't, but we have Richdown Port and Garrick Relentless. I think Garrick Relentless does some work as well because of, uh, like, removal on top of its, like, token generation. Mm, and we could get cards with it at some point with the, with the flip mode. Yeah. And the port, obviously, is port. I don't know if we're as a... Okay. Um, I, wow. Balance. Nobody respects it. Yeah. Just kind of grab regrowth. Yeah. Into our sideboard regrowth. Yep. You, you will show up if, like, there's one of your favorite cards. I can't pick. I, I gotta at least pick the Reach. I don't know if we're actually gonna fit. Yeah. Inkwell into the sideboard. Thank you very much. Mom. 
I might need a 3 1 blocker, or you could run a mommy. <laughs> and you wield a card you were thinking about picking. And you yep, wield. give me that card. Uh, below the cut is Celestia Signet. All right, so above the cut, we've got access to uh, Natural Order, Ponder, Lodestone Golem, Vivian Reed. Um. The cards I really like here are Negate and Ponder, but Natural Order could be exciting. It's currently the biggest thing it grabs for us is Avenger of Zendikar. Zendikar, which isn't the greatest that early. We don't have... Uh... Yeah, they did show off a, a, a you know, quite side strong... Side grade to mom. Yeah, the, the, they, they... I'm enjoying the side grades. Um, is Ponder... I don't think I care enough about Ophiomancer on the splash. I do think I care a lot about having things like Ponder, but Natural Order is a very obvious, like, that could be a real plan with Mana Dorks. Yeah. The, the trick with Ophiomancer, the reason we don't want it for opposition, is it only ever makes one snake. You can have maximum yeah. one snake. So it, it, it's literally just a 2-2 that makes one body, and, like, we had PNLR for that if we wanted to... Uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna see. Maybe we find a better target for Natural Order, like, uh... Hmm. Crater Hoof Behemoth. Shit, Fast Bond. Fast Bond? Okay, we have two stupid combos. One is Strip Mine, Crucible, Fast, fast bond. bond. Yep. The other is it's Natural Order into Crater Hoof Behemoth. I think I care more about the the dumb, like... Plus there's a Muldrifter. I, I know there's a Muldrifter. It's right there. I want it. I want it pretty bad. Uh, But, like... We have Strip Mine Crucible Fast Bond, and at the end of the day, uh... Yeah, that's pretty get dang good. We'll, we'll, we'll find... Crater Hoof will take... There's no way. The best thing I can hope for is that Bull Drifter, my friend, comes back around. Our Frantic Search and Time Warp are like the cards we have a realistic chance of. Maybe time Warp's not target. unreasonable. Terastodon on the, the, the search... Terastodon is a somewhat better natural order target. Uh, there's yeah. also Whisperwood as a replaceable thing for opposition. Yeah, or Thrag Tusk as a... Stay Alive card. Stay also alive. Wasteland? Yeah, Wasteland. Wasteland? Wait. Maybe I just care about having a second copy of Strip Mine, right? Maybe. Maybe. Do we? Okay. What would we do if we natural ordered in Terrasodon? We'd blow up our own lands, right? Yeah, we just like, have, we'd have like 18 power. Yeah, that's pretty good. Wasteland doesn't work against everyone, works against most decks, gives us another strip mine. Yeah. Like, sure, there'll be a deck where Lace, Wasteland's dead. Whatever. I accept my yeah. fate. Uh, okay, so you can't tooth and nail. Um, well, wait a second. Can, are we finally a deck that. <laughs> that under. See, here's the trick. Pretty sure we can just table that, right? Pick, yeah, we're probably gonna table plow like, under. Like and pick up the well. Like I want the plow under to be the hyper jerk, but I also want wall of blossoms to be able to. Yeah, wall of blossoms. I think is the pick. Not it's die. A card. It's a. It's a fine. It's also a creature for opposition. Yeah, that's the other part that's pretty good. Is we do need some creatures on the board for opposition to be real. Uh, Lumbering Falls, um, and then some five drops. Tinker, the, huh? Tinker. We are. We do it. Well, we have a. We have a. Uh, we have Signets and a Equal Leviathan. Yeah, we have an Equal. Play that Tinker. Yeah. I oh. think Lumbering Falls is like. Hmm? Yeah, yeah. I'm a guy. I agree with you. There's the, the, the like. Get some more fixing. Make this deck function more. Lumbering Falls is a creature we can keep replaying off of a uh, Crucible. Primal is it terrible? But. I don't like it. I don't as much like it here. <laughs> Vraska and Crucible, huh? Vraska's also pretty okay. Oh, but just Primus, Trop. huh? Oh, God. Wolf Fall Primus? Okay, do we need Tropical Island? We've got Misty, Botanical, Lumbering Falls. Wolf Fall Primus would just be... Would be the target for our, our natural order. Also, just like a spell we could cast... I, also, get, I think if we just go with this hyper-fixing, our deck will always function, right? Yeah. Uh, it's, are we, here's, I don't think we're... I think we're getting at the point where we might not be playing Lee of Old. Because we've seen no bug lands for our Misty to pick up. It's fine, we'll find one. Uh, survival? That's a way to make Lee of Old still fine, because we can just cycle it the hell out. 
yeah, we can look for our important stuff. There's also just demonic tutor for us are going to be playing Leopold, but uh, yeah, like survival's probably. Well, there's also Gruel Signet, but we have three. They have two dorks and two signets. We probably don't need that many. We kind of like being able to survival with our wall of blossoms and things like that. Um, hmm. We're probably never going to flip thing. Yeah, Palancron, we can't. It's probably the pick here, but I don't know if we're playing it. I think a target could also be a pick. Eh. Just for natural order. Oh, for the natural order? <laughs> like, probably for our sideboard, but... Because I don't think we're playing any of these cards. Sure, let's do that for the board. That that actually sounds fun. Uh, Vivian Reed, Celestia Signet, Lodestone Golem. Um, if we're continuing on this Mana Denial, that, the, you know, Lodestone's fine. Vivian... Mm -hmm. Vivian's okay. She, or, she or kills artifacts wanna, and enchantments. Or do we just want a green signet? We could probably just take a green signet. Like how, how, I don't know if we actually want that many at this point. Like, how many are we... I'm going to go ahead and... I've, I don't know if I've ever played with Vivian, to be honest. I've played with Vivian a lot in Standard, and that's it. Okay. Thank she's, you. She's very good in Standard, but... Um, not as good elsewhere, probably. She's the normal Standard Walker, where she's like... Six loyalty and like five mana plus one draw card minus three yeah something. there's a there's a argument to be made for like some people to be like what if the creeping tar pit for that black splash to them i say yeah. mold drifter hey we get our terastodon yeah also not not feeling bad about if i picked up edric but edric also wouldn't be ter like all the green cards here are actually again I, I i understand the choice on tar pit but it is actually impossible to get me to not pick Mold Drifter, yeah, it's it's my favorite. Yeah, it's it's it's, it's also a good card, and I th and I think playing Leavold at this point might actually be like a mis like might be a mistake. Um, even if we if we had a if we had a watery grave or something like that, we just got all of our big top, huh? Yeah, we don't we don't have to bother picking it; we just get it. All right, so like I said, but yeah, I, and so I don't disagree for like. Like, I don't disagree on, the, like, the, the thinking that there are, you know, the, the Creeping Tar Pit is a stronger card for our deck, but I love Moldrifter. It's, 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 it's me. I love Moldrifter, so. Uh, so can we, I want to make a hard ask. What do you want? How hard, how hard is it that we actually can, play, like, how hard is it to play Leobold with the lands and fixing we have available? We have a Demir Signet and a Birds of Paradise. And a Golgari Signet. And a Golgari Signet, so. So three pieces of fixing plus probably one swamp. And because we our deck contains Sanctum, Lumbering Falls, Misty, Trop Island, I don't think we're giving up too much consistency yep. on our other colors. Yeah, we're not giving up that much equity. Okay. Um, and, like, the thing with Leovold is that in this format, it's a very, very dangerous card. Not only does it draw us cards on weird targeting, including anything that kills Leovold, but, like... <laughs> We've seen people forget that first line. Yeah, they play their playing like a ponder or a brilliant brainstorm, especially into Leovold is very. I'm like, I could leave the Kodama's Reach in and leave in the swamp if I was that necessary yeah, for really, it. Oh, really Earth Inspire, thank you very much for the for the the double sub. Enjoy Ooh, the double sub. Can All right, Garrick Primal Hunter out of here. Oh, I mean, the only thing I like about Garrick Primal Hunter is that it's a plus that's token generation for opposition. Oh my God. Oh, I want to ask you. I actually want to ask you more about top end here. What are we actually playing? Um, I like Avenger. Like, is I don't know if Terastodon's worth it. I think it, we could or either Terastodon or Primus. I don't think you would want both. Terastodon is a more exciting like turn three natural order target because you natural order away your your land of war elves for Terastodon and then blow up your lands and then kill your opponent. <laughs> I but, feel like uh, the speed of our deck is more Primus, though. Yep. Yeah, um, yeah, I do. I do also think that's probably true. Yeah, I'm gonna, uh, so I'm gonna cut that one because I feel like we want to cut one of the two. And I think literally all of our creatures are green, so we can take out uh, Finale Devastation. We have Vincer as our blue creature. Yeah. <laughs> yeah like the the thing about this is that it like gives us a like the hyper win con of like 12 mana goodbye but like i don't feel like our deck needs that 
I also think our deck will have a little bit of problems producing 12 mana. Uh, I feel like Fast Bond plus Fetch says that we can just... Can we actually support Blue 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 for Cryptic Hell? Yes. Yes, absolutely. Fixing, fixing, absolutely. fixing, 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 if I play it. like. Plus, it's like the best card in our deck. Yeah, we're playing it. Like, so we have six... Are we just off the opposition plan? I don't believe so. I believe we still have a number of things that work well with opposition. Uh, like, I'm not going, like, not to the point where I remove opposition, because, like, we obviously have Garrick Relentless, we have Master of the Wild Hunt, we have Garrick Plus, um, and, like, a number of, like, mana dorks, and small things that work well with opposition. But we're not, like, the hyper... Uh, op we're, we're not, like, opposition into deranged hermit, sadly. Yeah. We had a couple choices at things like that, but um So we have six cuts. Um thinking about I like think either Vivian or Garrick or both. Yeah, I'm thinking just Vivian because like We can bring her in when we absolutely need to spend five mana to kill on a champion. Right. I think Garrick I just kinda wanna keep pl I wanna keep is plow under actually a real card I wanna play. I don't actually think so. Let's remove it and bring it in against like control decks. And just piss them off. I mean, it's like crush them. Tracker draws cards. I mean, uh, we are, I have fast yeah, bond. Yeah, we have fast bond, crucible, fetch land, so we could just draw our deck. Charter course can probably come out. Yeah, I, I don't like for one. I don't think we're using the discard for two. It's going to be not great for us to be attacking with like birds on two. Yeah. Um. So I think that's fine. I'm still looking at Kodama's reach as a cut. I think I think we can cut. I think we need to find cuts, and that's like one that presents itself. Yeah, the other thing about tracker is that at the end of the day, this is a green creature. Yeah, but it's a green creature, and it can actually attack fairly well. Yeah, reach is probably fine, but we need, we cuts. need cuts. We need three-ish more cuts. Uh -huh. uh, I'm just looking around. We got our Avengers of Zendikar. The Avengers of Zendikar is the other thing that works really well with the opposition, obviously. Oh, find yeah. a cut. Yeah, I, I'm. I, I think I'm fine getting that out. Um, I'm keeping Mold Drifter. I'm keeping Opposition. I'm keeping Tamiyo. I'm keeping Cryptic. I'm keeping Time Spiral because we've got the the Hell Dude the combo. Mold. Plus, it just kind of if we can like get a lot of mana and play, it just kind of is good. Right. Like especially if we can set up the Opposition combo and make it so our opponent's hand doesn't matter. Mm -hmm. There might be uh, there might be matches where it comes out. Um, yeah, there, there will be matches where it probably comes out. I would not bring. I would not time. play Time Spiral against Mono Red. Yeah, I would not do that. Uh, or even like, you know, some sort of like Mono White. Um, yeah, Master and Garrick Relentless are both kind of weird four drops, but they actually do play well together. You can make a wolf for Master of the Wild Hunt to punch with. Plus, if you ever make Death Touching Wolves, let me tell you about how that works with uh, Master of the Wild Hunt. Yeah. And, again, we've got a, a green sun over here. I'm going to kind of pull that in so that we can see it. Yeah, I kind of like green sun here. Green sun seems nice because uh, that's also a way to get Leovold without having to pay black mana. It's Leovold. It's also like a two mana accelerant because you can go like get a... Uh... And it can grab birds for full fixing there. Can we split non-creatures? Sure, let's go ahead and... So... Uh, green Sun, I'll, I'll I'll put Green Sun up here because it's its own pile. Yeah. <laughs> so do think do we actually want Natural Order? Because like we're Natural Ordering for Venger of Zendikar or Wood or uh, Woodfall Behemoth, Woodfall Primus rather. I think that's powerful enough, and like we could bring in that Atarka if we need to. Yeah. Wall of Blossoms is another card that gets sided out in certain matchups. Like, uh, I'm, 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 right now I'm deciding that my opponent is an unknown opponent who might be attacking us with creatures, and we're not good at blocking that, because right now, like, Wall of Blossoms and Kitchen Finks are our only real ways of stopping uh, players who attack us yeah. with creatures. So... Yeah. <laughs> Survival lets us turn things like 
Land of War Elves and Wall of Blossoms into things like Avenger and Descartes and Woodfall Primus, but we are pretty low on creatures. Yeah, maybe that's mm, worth getting out of here in this. Like, we don't have any graveyard interaction, which makes it a lot worse. Yeah. Um, we, and if you're do, if the one graveyard, the two graveyard interactions we could have would be like Regrowth, which I forgot if we picked or not, for, and Finale do. of Devastation, which. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I'm okay with that. I don't like it a ton, but I'm still keeping natural order in. Um, at, at this point, then, the last choice is, uh, like, 16 v. 17, and, like, if the if 17, what's the cut? Uh, you, you, you feel okay with uh, 16 lands in this deck? With two, uh, Melanor, with two dorks and two signets? I'm questionable on it, mostly because we really need to hit 3+. plus. Like, yeah. I feel like our deck needs to have that extra land, so, like, uh, we could cut either one of our five-drop walkers or, like, Venser or something like that. Or, or just go all out on, uh, on leave Wall of Blossoms or Finx as our soul oh, God. life game spell. And just assume we're not going to face that many aggro decks, where if we are, we can, like, use opposition to stay alive. No, Tamio's on plan. The trick is that yeah, Tamio so can tap lands, and tapping lands is is a pretty decent part of this plan with, like, the wasteland, strip mine combo, with the, or, you know, like, crucible combo, with the opposition tapping lands. Like, Tamiyo is an extra version of that. That might still mean it's not worth playing because, like, everything else is also tapping, but, like, Tamiyo can answer permanence in a way no other card in the deck can do. Yeah, Tamiyo works when we don't have opposition in play, which some of our cards kind of don't so <laughs> that's kind of the one of the reasons i like like master of the wild hunt isn't as cool when we don't have uh, yeah master of the wild hunt's kind of slow without opposition it's it's a, it, it is an absolute positive the game is over if we have opposition because it will always make a token to match our opponent's land right so yeah we got fast bond um so yeah we need one honestly i'm thinking vencer like that feels wrong but Venser's the weirdest card in here that I don't think fits with what we're doing. It's obviously it's a it's a piece of interaction and cutting interaction feels wrong. Yeah. But we can try it and if we ever decide against it, we can just put okay. it back in. Sure. Let's do that. Like obviously I like I feel like there's a lot of choices here that no matter what we say, it's gonna feel wrong. Yeah. All right. Put all of this junk in. Yep. So So I want to So you've seen this kind of draft before. This is one of my like the Simic ramp-ish decks like this are some of my favorite decks to ever play. Uh, one yeah. Swamp. Get that Plains out of here. Um, thanks, Kitchen Finks. 4-6. That seems fine. That gives, that gives us 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 blue sources for Cryptic. We'll get there. The thing is we need green sources for, like, all of yeah, our early stuff. spells. <laughs> And yeah, the green. one, the one swamp is a a Leovold. Yeah, if you cast Crypto Command on turn seven, you're still probably fine. Yeah, Time Spiral is for value, and also because we have a card that says your opponents can't draw more than one spell each turn. Yeah. Um. So. <laughs> All right, let's uh save the deck. Let's let's rock. I wanna. Okay, here's my hopes. I want one game where the fast bond like set up with crucible works i know i've done it in the past i've had I've, I've definitely played this combo in the past and had to do some rude shit but i i the, la I, <laughs> the last time i remember us playing fast bond we used it to play bad channel yeah we used to fetch land fast bond and uh i remember uh, that walking ballista <laughs> Yeah, I remember that, and I remember uh, us. I remember two thousand and lands remaining. Yes, yeah, nineteen ninety-nine lands. We're not on the London Mulligan anymore. Ooh. Uh, this hand looks. This hand looks great. Yeah. Uh, it does that fast bond is basically just it gets uh, some lands into play. We can evoke Moldrifter next turn. Sure. So let's go like land fast bond land land or else go. Yeah. Okay. 2,000 land plays remaining. Yep, 2,000 land plays. We'll have to find a way to... Uh... Dang it, Fast Bond says damage and not loss of life. Yep. So we don't, a... we don't play the Swamp off this because, like, 
if I can avoid taking the, the, the damage, I will avoid taking the damage. But if we draw a land next turn, I can play Moldrifter rather than evoke. Also, it's also true. Fast Bond is pretty great when you have Time Spiral in your deck. All right. Okay, so they've got, they've got power. Yep. They, and they're not doing anything with it as of yet. So they did play okay. the Crypt, which tells me they have something, have something. to do, right? Let's see if the thing they have to do is cancel it is to yeah, cancel a mole drifter. Yes, we can't actually cast time spiral yet, even if we had So I, I think they're gonna can they're gonna miscalculate. No, they're gonna remand it. Okay, Ooh. that that's fine. That's fine. We'll they're recast it later. From, they're gonna lose the flip. So th it's funny that we don't have mana advantage over them. Like, they, you know, at this time still have a pretty strong mana advantage with Crypt. Yeah. Okay, so they did actually win the flip. The, whole, the first time Moldrifter's ever been hardcast? You know how many times I've hardcast Moldrifter? Oh my god. Yeah, we're, yeah, that would be true, except you're talking to the Moldrifter master. Yeah, I, I play Moldrifters at all times, forever. Jace. Nope. Or is Karn. Karn. Okay. Do they make a 2-2, two -two or do they plus? The thing I really want to do here is untap, draw a blue source, and just time spiral. That would be very good. Because our opponent has, like, six cards in hand. Like, I absolutely, positively... Yeah, we time spiral if we rip a land. If we don't, then we just play Drifter and, like, uh, Menace... Uh, you can't have library with that many cards in hand. So I think we have to give them Porcelain Legionnaire. Because, like, library with this sounds really dumb. Like, you know. Yeah. They'll have eight cards. They'll draw up to seven. They'll have eight. Damn. Well. All right. So let's go ahead and cast Mole Drifting. We can at least attack Karn. Yeah. So, Mole Drifting. And then we get some threats. Garrick yeah. seems like a reasonable threat. Yeah, Garrick seems cool. Okay. Today is your final day, Karn. Okay, did you... Do they have the... Which which card has a silver counter on it? The, 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 the Library of Alexandria. Okay. So, you were, you were correct. I was hoping to draw a land so that we could just get rid of their, their library, but now they have to minus for it at yeah. least. Uh, because we only have four, we, we have, I think, five or six untapped blue sources in the deck there. The odds just weren't yeah, well enough. Weren't in our favor. I believed in the heart of the cards, but the heart of the cards said uh, forest. <laughs> <laughs> this is a position where, where, like, yeah, eventually we'll have land destruction to burn down the library. We can draw a wasteland, something like that. And also, if I can just resolve Time Spiral. Okay. Making a construct. Make a which, they're yeah. playing Porcelain Legionnaire, so that's going to be a 3-3. Three, three. Yep. And we can still menace Karn with our flyer. Which I absolutely want to do so that they can't, like, freely get the silver counter. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the, the, I think they're just casting Porcelain Legionnaire for no life. They've been pretty good on this slip, by the way. Yeah, the... So they got their Krark stuff. Red. Chart. They did not attack, so they are just drawing. Okay. Let's find out some more about their deck. Discard mm -hmm. Island. Uh, we might... Mountain both makes me want and not want Wasteland. Because <laughs> they gotta have something else, but... Library's probably enough just to want Wasteland. Okay. I think we just slam the Spiral here to reset our hand up. They just played charts, yeah. so their hand's gotta look decent. Yeah, let's go for it. So this is a draw five for us, and yeah, maybe we can like draw our Leovold off of uh, we'll draw Leovold and some lands to cast it. Well, we, and we can obviously play the lands that we draw here. Ooh, we can Tamio to like tap down something, or make just make a three three. Um, we can just do both. I mean, I have fast bond in play. Yeah. Like, what, 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 what can I not do? Oh, hold on, opposition. Like, 
Opposition plus Trigon, tap down all their stuff at start of turn. We don't have enough blue mana. No, Botanical Sanctum comes in to play tap. Right, that's yep. not... Uh... So if I play Opposition, I'm giving up my turn for that. Um, so what about... So we have three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine mana at our disposal. Yeah. So, so can I, I can Garrick in opposition then. You can Garrick in opposition. You could Garrick and Trigon. I think we want or... Garrick in opposition then, and I, I, I think that that's fine because yeah. Garrick also makes a body, and like I might leave the three three. The problem is like the opposition doesn't do a lot immediately yeah. because like, but I do want to actually. Honestly, I'm fine taking the lumps. Let's take the lumps. Yeah. So we want to play forest. Yep. We're going to take some damage here, but that's okay. That's fine. We got Trigon Predator, which is going to tear him apart. And, uh... We have Wasteland for their library, so they might just get to cycle their library. Playing that so that we've got blue next turn for all of our cards in hand. So the other thing is I think I actually want to attack Karn because I don't yeah. want more constructs in play. Yeah, if we get we could attack Karn and then we're probably throwing Beast in front of uh Hmm, can they kill Karn? And can they kill Garrick? If we don't block. Yeah, but I'm not I'm not certain how much how concerned I am about that. Okay. You already have three creatures, and we can, like, tap down their stuff, and then just, like, play Tamiyo to... Okay. Actually, maybe I should be defending. You could just tap one of their creatures. With with Beast. Maybe tap their Construct, and then they can nug Garrick for one. Or we can tap, like, their Monocrypt. Can, uh, can opposition tap artifacts? Yeah, they, they, they can tap artifact creature land. Um, I want. I, I, now I'm thinking about it, I actually do want Garrick to live here, so I have to even, leave Beast back. You can I, block and then tap something if we really want to. So the problem with like us going in with Moldrifter is to stop a, a colorless token. Like I want that token stopped, but I also want Garrick to not die here. So I don't like... I'm going to tap the Construct when we go to combat, yes. That's, that, that, that's my game plan. But I'm going to wait till we go to combat, because what I could also do is if that Construct is a 3-3 going into combat, I'd block and then tap down Monocrypt or something like that. Uh -huh. Like, as a, only if it's a 3-3 going into combat, though. Again, yeah, opposition means I get to wait. I get to hold my, you know, when I get to think about this. They have a lot of cards in hand, a lot of unknowns. Um, we've got Trigon, Predator, and Tamiyo, which is two taps next turn, plus Garrick. We should be able to get control of this game back under yeah. our control pretty quickly. We can, like, if we can stabilize, then like just drawing off our planeswalker should be enough. They're gonna chase us. I, I don't much care about something like that. I don't think it's gonna be too like again like how it has to be a pretty big like you know I think Jace is strong obviously, but I don't think it's gonna be. Yeah, it's not gonna be that bad. Well, especially like I can go bonk it with Moldrifter or something like that. Yeah, plus so they okay, leave. so opposition. Construct tap on text. So this will be an interesting choice whether if they plus Karn here or if they minus to get they they can, they shouldn't minus because they have the wasteland in play. Yeah. Okay. So we lose our beast, but that actually puts Jace at two, which means Moldrifter can just walk over there. Yeah. And we're, we'll be able to like Tamio and uh Trigon to be able to do everything we want to. Now do they have burn? If they have a way of burning down Garrick, that would be pretty powerful. Just fire. Or Lightning Helix, perhaps? Okay, reveal okay. top two. I'm going to give you Enlightened Tutor. I don't want you having more mana sources right now. Yeah, that seems pretty good. I don't, Plus it, bitch, it grows their I don't, construct. Yeah, that that too. Like I, I, Well, especially I don't want them having more mana sources right now at this very moment. Uh -huh. we're, we're at a critical juncture where we need to take control of the game, and I don't want my opponent to be able to pull out from where we are. They might have a... If they have a burn spell for Garrick... Oh, my... Wait. 
They have clamp. Yeah, but you can't. Uh, you, you they like cannot clamp their porcelain. Right. They, well, can, they can if they want to draw. They might do that post combat actually. They might do that post combat, but they can't attack Garrick for four. Is the thing. Yeah. They can only attack Garrick for three. Oh God. Oh. Okay. <laughs> I would. Yeah, I would not be surprised if they. Uh, if they just combat clamp their. Oh yeah. Guy. The other cool thing is that their Trigon Predator starts answering this shit real quick. Yeah. So they left up okay. Enlightened Tutor. All right, so we're alive. We're at 15. We made it out of that turn pretty well. We're going to draw in the... Crucible of Worlds, okay. which currently does nothing. <laughs> okay, but that's fine. We didn't have mana to play it this turn. We only I yeah. wanted to play out my, my other things. So let's go ahead and make a beast. Now we can Tamio plus. You could also Tamio and draw two. Plusing on their monocrypt or a creature is probably just. I better. feel like we want to answer their board more than. Yeah, yeah. we have Wasteland Crucible, but like Wasteland Crucible ain't enough at the mo. Yeah, the current opponent currently only controls basic lands. Basic lands, lands so. Yeah. See, so yeah, I like playing Tamio, like icing a construct. Is it, is it worth throwing? Like, the question of two cards is not, like, irrelevant. Um, because I'd play Trigon Predator. What would I be looking to draw into? Um, strip Mine? Yeah, Strip Mine. Opponent basically loses if we draw a Strip Mine. Yeah, let's see. Is it no, I'm, I'm gonna, it's I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna play safe on this. We're gonna, we're gonna keep their, their... Crypt tap. They have an enlightened tutor, and I don't want them to be able to do too terribly much with it. Mm -hmm. So I'm gonna try and play towards like a, a a bit of a longer game at the moment. I realize, like, yeah, there's there's some, like we could draw two cards here, but like those creatures are gonna be tapped next turn too. So yeah, so let's play our trike. Yep, and, and I, can, like attack. We can kill Jace. Maybe. Yeah, I think I think we killed Jace. Oh, all right. Uh, okay, they they saw the right <laughs> on the wall. So we played the card that answered their deck. I'll right, Tr Trigon Predator does that. All right, three colors tells me Wasteland's got to be worth keeping. Is Nature's Claim worth playing against them? They had Mana Crypt. They had Karn. They had Skull Clamp. They had, I don't know, hmm. So, like, they're playing Enlightened Tutor. Yeah, okay, they're playing Enlightened Tutor. You're right. They obviously have something they want to grab that's very powerful. So let's go ahead and find a way to get that Nature's Claim in here. Um, what do we not want? Anything on your mind? I believe uh, Gnome has disappeared. Hmm. Let's see right, if I can I, get him back. I, uh, uh, oh, okay. Uh, yeah, I was just going to the bathroom. Uh, I could see cutting things here. Claim seems really good. Um, or like things... wall is like... Okay, yeah, Vivian, filler creatures. Vivian also is a pretty realistic choice here, too, if they have a lot of this sort of stuff. Mm -hmm. We won't be able to super rely on our Vivian to draw cards, but... What about, well, like... Land, so... Okay, like, go there for there. Like, just kill their targets rather than tap them down. Um, um, like, maybe one of our token, other token generators. I I'm still want to keep in Cryptic, that's just me. Yeah, I mean, I think also the cryptic just amazing. So yeah, I'm in for that. All right, so we get a what number of like artifact destruction things, and I think that'll work well against a lot of what they had. Yeah. Um, we'll see how Vivian plays out because Vivian is top four. Reveal a creature or land. So, land. so we're, we're gonna be drawing lots of lands off of her, which is probably okay. And we do have a decent right. creature count. It's not like bad. Yeah. Um, Slow. Is I Trigon like Trigon Predator, Predator, Predator though. That's the, that's the thing. I think Trigon might be. That could be. We can just rely on the top of our deck to be pretty good. We just need a strip mine to make this hand stupid. God, this is too fair for me to like, but I'm gonna try it. This is this is a bit of a I like. Oh, I'm sorry about that. Yes, yeah, this, this is the kind of hand that you don't like keeping, but is like uh, too. 
Okay, maybe I was... can't remove that stop. There we go. All right. Yeah, this, see, two. this is this is a hand that's fair. Our opponent is not a fair opponent, so yeah. this is going to cause us to have very very bad matchups against them. Yeah, Pundit was fairly fair last game, but then they played an Ancient Tomb. Well, no, they, they, last... they, they played Crypt on they... one, which is not a, a real, like, yeah. like I, I believe that their deck has a lot more un, unwieldy, un, you know, these, these powerful effects than we had seen, so. Yeah, they didn't really make use of it last game. Yeah, I mean, they're, they will just... well, we saw Mox Diamond, too. I don't think we saw nothing. I thought we, I think we saw yeah, real. Yeah, yeah. They did, I'm not, I'm saying they're, they played real stuff. They didn't really Jason do anything. Too? Yes, if it's just Jace on two, that's probably good enough to beat us. No, it's Karn, which makes that's like a also, three, three. Yeah, that makes a three three on two. Yeah, this was again trying to keep a fair hand in an unfair format is a is a pretty quick route to to defeat, ain't it? Yeah, but we've got we've got draws to just get us right back in here. That wasn't one of them. If we had drawn like Nature's Claim, it'd be been pretty baller. Um. I'm uncertain that there are. I'm trying to think of what what line we want to to roll uh, against yeah, but this that opponent. Drawing and... Primus there was pretty terrible. Sure, that's a that, that's a, a literal null. I'm just trying to think of what we do want, because like our current problem is that those constructs are going to kick our ass, and like I don't even know if we have time to deploy Trigon against them. Yeah, I don't think we do. Let's let's see if they show us anything new before we pack. We, it we up. can show them Trigon. We already showed them that card, so there's no reason we can't show them it. But yeah, I mean, for them to show us new stuff, like we saw them, we see the Ancient Tomb. Okay, so here's all their duels. They do yeah, they, like they do have all the duels. But yeah, so this is turn three, and they've got their five mana going. Ah. Um, okay, that makes a lot of sense. So they have a very. Uh, like a a, a a very artifact deck. You're 12 turns late. Yeah, on turn one, you'd have been good. So let's deploy Trigon, and then going to get attacked for a bunch. Yeah, we're getting attacked for... Six, eight, nine, ten? Probably more? If yeah. crank their, their guy up here. Like, we attack, we kill one of the constructs, we block the other with Finks. So we need to draw, like, Nature's Claim, like, right now to have any chance at all. Yeah, our opponent is a heavy artifact liker. That's that's what I've learned. So Trigon Predator is incredible against them. Sure, so Karn. Karn ticks up, revealing Charter Course and Jace. Well, they get Charter Course here. Yeah. Because I can't give them Jace. That automatically loses us the game. Problem ah. being that they can grab that with... Uh, yeah, Trigon Predator says deals combat damage to a player, right? Yes, the only they have only done that text in War of the Spark. Yeah, so we absolutely can't, like, nothing before that. So we have to choose between killing a construct or keeping them from having Jace. Right, and like they might just have us dead here, you know? I'm gonna cast Fractured Identity. I would love that. No, just sad robot. Any artifact is probably really bad for us, though. Right, because it's more bodies on the, the the floor for this construct. It's more mana for them. It's harder. Like Blightsteel, I don't think they have because Blightsteel doesn't work with the ready. Uh, Blightsteel has a shuffle in, but like they certainly have something that they can get back with the ready. Um, so we're taking ten on the chin. Uh -huh. I think I have to let Jace happen. Yeah, I think we have to attack uh, them to kill a construct. Even then, I don't think that's good enough because they're going to crank their hanger back up to three. I play Finx. They bounce Finx. Also, we have the problem of Duretti ulting in a couple turns. Nah, this is a this is a this is not, this is a league. So yeah. we draft these people. We could have, but yeah, we could not, have. Not That's very true. Not likely. <laughs> not impossible that they could have been at the same pot as us. But um. so Dreddy's ticking up. So yeah, I play Finks, go to seven, play Birds. They come in, bounce Finks. I have to chump with Birds. Yeah, because even if we draw Nature Claim, that's not good enough. 
because uh because of sad robot and, and hanger back actually are we just dead anyways no because of the two the two life we gain off of uh finks that was just alive right. okay we'll go to two it won't look good yeah that's the i kind of miss playing against your own pod but the downtime in between is not as is well we don't miss that well, also, like these days, the actual getting into fire is is yeah, much sure. longer, and it's it's a it's a hassle in that way. So I I feel bad about not doing them, but I feel like that it's a necessity to not do them. Yep. I also agree with this. All and right. forest. Okay. So thanks. My dumbass would have my dumbass would have tapped all of our forests to play that. Birds. I don't miss Diablo 3 is in between magic games. Not even a tiny bit. Attack their face. They're at 12, which is kind of hilarious. Yeah, they have been tapping that ancient tomb a lot. They're going to continue tapping that ancient tomb. Sure. We're actually dead if they can kill their own hangerback walker. They, they it, don't have a target in their graveyard, yeah. so <laughs> they need to. Uh, if they had discarded an artifact last turn, we would just be dead. <laughs> kind of hilarious. So they can minus. The other thing is that they can minus two Karn and make another construct. Yep, they probably will do that even. Or minus Karn for Jace, which I think is the actual like realistic player. Come on. They do the same thing in that they get kitchen fix up. Although if they uh, if we chump, then that's like. Slightly worse for them. Right, I kind of want Finks to chump here. Of course, they could just, like, cryptic us and kill us. No, there's a lot of ways they can just kill us. I'm not thinking about any of them. Yeah, there's little we can do. Yep, put a card on with a silver counter in your hand. They get their charter course. Now they're getting their Jace. They, 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 so then they play Jace. They take two more damage to play Jace. So they're a deck that folds to, like, mono red, huh? Yeah, a lot of those around here. So bounce our things. Keeps, one of the things that keeps uh, bounce our trigon, ooh. huh? Ah, uh, they've elected the coward's path. Sure. <laughs> that means we can trump with const trump construct and not even block with birds. Right, and I can keep birds and like play Garrick or play. Uh... If they attack all out, I actually can have Finks go kill Jace. Yeah. Yeah, they figured it out. Yeah, they, figured it. they absolutely should attack with construct, though. <laughs> oh, this is funny. Okay, here's a question: Do we chump construct or do we kill sad robot? I would kill sad robot if they just did that attack there. Okay, uh, so yes, I me... think we're chumping construct. Yeah, we chump construct for sure. Because we die if we go for sad robot. I wish we could, but we take seven. Yeah, they've decided that's good enough. Um, I don't think we chump hanger back either. No, I kind of want the birds in case we draw like a uh, nature's claim. We can Garrick can claim, or we can Trigon plus another play. Mm -hmm. So Finks and Finks can go attack back here. That's the that's the powerful part is that Finks can just go beat up Jace. I feel like Fink's beating up Jace is a pretty important line for us to not die. Yeah, because I can just bounce again next turn. Are we dead if, if Fink's attacks Jace? Uh, because we can make, like, we have the birds as a blocker, we're, like, there's no difference. There's no yeah, difference at all, because Jace can remove a blocker, and if we remove an attacker, that's the exact same outcome. Yeah, like if they play a, a, a ground pounder here, then like... Yeah, that's... if they play Porcelain Legionnaire here, that changes the math. But like, again, I'm just playing, assuming they've got no way of actually stopping any of the things we're doing. Mm -hmm. We're just like playing cards. They have red plus Mox Diamond. They have anything up. They can play any trick in the book. Yeah, they can do almost everything. Again, we just... A, the, you, the only way I can play here is to assume their hand is... Both A, stone blanks, and B, cards they don't want to discard to Doretti. So, uh, yeah. I realize that's difficult. Yeah, but, uh, they're all eight mana spells they really, really want to cast. <laughs> <laughs> I 
They're just waiting for their city of traders. Yep, just they're almost there. So like we're in a very, we're in a pickle here. We're we're, we're Ozzy's in a bind. Yeah. Um. Man, damn, a tight spot. Okay, <laughs> tap out for chart. Okay. They're paying costs. Did they click on a card in their hand? Yeah, they, no, they just clicked on a card in their hand. All right, Ned. Huh. We play that, and then we have no creatures in play to tap with. And we die, yeah. I think we're done here. Do we want another island? This might just be recency bias, but... I feel like we might. The, 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 like we can cast the opposition off this, but we might actually want that other island. You're not wrong. I'm sitting here thinking about like our lines. If I play Garrick and attack Jace, then I live at two or three. So that's not too bad. Um, yeah, but then we got the hanger back walker problem where they can just make flyers at some point. That's fine. Let's Garrick isn't showing them new information. Yeah, the new cards are Crucible and Woodfall Primus. So the we can avoid... Yeah. The reason I'm going with Garrick here instead of Trigon Predator is because Garrick, if they don't answer it, is a recurring, like, this plus, plus, plus that might keep us alive longer. Yeah. Okay, so let's attack Jace. Because, again, there's no difference between not attacking Jace and not attacking Jace. Yeah, the difference is that... Uh... Beast is like a more effective blocker. So like if we can live till Garrick ults, you know, all of a sudden we we don't get murdered by the board, you know, something like that. Obviously that's a long time coming. As a, our way of dealing with Hangerback Walker in the future is just getting opposition in play. Yeah, like just tap it. So again, so here I block construct with with uh birds, I block Solemn with Beast Token and go to one. Seems reasonable. And I think go to one is actually what I want here. I, 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 okay. So let's see what they got. They take up. I can't. Take it island. I can't give them skull clamp because that would give them lethal damage. So give them island. Do it island. Again, their life total is eight. There are ways for us to just sneak. Yeah, like they're getting to the point where they can't. They have to think about tapping their ancient tomb. Dreddy can turn the hanger back into flyers the second we kill that. Yes, but. Like, we still need to, like, I, I, I do not think letting this beast token die is any better. Like, yeah, like there's, there's a lot of problems here. Like we're, we're trying to play a lot. We can, the moment they get anything in the grave, obviously they can just kill hanger back. Sure. But like, if we, if I use my beast token to chump block construct, then I don't think I have enough of a board to survive literally what they have in play right now. Right. Yeah. So we need and we can play Trigon as a blocker for a, for a fly or two, or just like. So there are options. Nature's claim also could be living in the top few cards of our decks. Um, so. So yeah, they get to draw a card. They might just sack their their uh, hanger back, but this is the play I think has the highest chance of victory, and I'm playing to the highest chance of victory right now. We're, we're, like, we're still here because I've not showed them anything new, and I still believe there's about a two percent in this game. Uh -huh. So plus we're, we might be getting more information. Plus we're we're head on the clock. Yeah, like I, to I mean, our advantage to play it out. <laughs> <laughs> These games feel like they go quick enough that that's not going to be a, a, a full thing. But I I I'm here because okay, so yep, they're doing they're doing the the, the play that was mentioned. They're getting rid of their hanger back, presenting a lethal threat of flyers. We knew that this was coming, but, like, there was no outcome I thought that made any sense to do otherwise. So here's the 1-1 Flyers. Let's see if we can draw a way around them. He's got to draw Hornet Queen and, like, uh, ways to cast it. No, the ways are actually uh, play our own Crucible and then Nature's Claim it, but... <laughs> uh, okay, we're learning. They have Preordain. Which means uh, Leopold's not all, is pretty good still. Yep. This one mana to scry two is not very good. This is not the overrun, Garrick. Yeah, sadly. If we had four mana Garrick, we would. Holy spin. shit! Yeah. <laughs> overrun Garrick would be a very different matter about their life total and like forcing them to jump with them thopters. Uh, 
No, this character is constantly making three threes. The reason I like that is because it constantly gives us threats to, to continuously block the construct. Um, Garrick's is the same. Yeah. They're just big, large, green creature men. That um, natural order doesn't get us out. Okay, okay. Well, they learning. Got they got again. They have a lot of this artifact mana. They they love their artifacts. Caracas. Yeah. Yeah, Caracas. Um, I think, do we? I don't think we. We have we boarded out our only legendary creature. I think. Okay. Um, the way out now would be like if I was able to opposition all of their threats. Which we can have three. We can have three creatures in play in opposition, which means we can tap their flyers and then die to the seven-seven. Right. Um, I could draw three cards. We could draw three cards. That's like our only out at the given moment. Uh, uh, Vincer is in the sideboard. Also, if they want to Caracas our Vincer, Vincer go right ahead. Vincer is the cards, just a creature. Yeah. Let's draw cards. Uh, Maybe upheaval hard. shows up in our deck, you know? Yeah. <laughs> okay. I think that's that's a uh, fine time right. to leave. On to game three. So, so don't have a fair start when our opponent has an unfair start. Yeah, on, and I don't think our opponent has a fair start. I think I am willing to make that shift. We don't have a such thing as a... Like, our unfair starts are, like, either one of... Like, we only have a couple cards that I think start that. We need Signets, yeah. we need Armana, we need to get moving. I think Leofold's fine in the deck. I'm not taking that yeah, out. Leofold's good against Jace. Like, that single-handedly makes it good enough. You ever activate Jace with a Leofold and play on accident? Yeah, also, the, good. if they minus uh, Jace to bounce, we draw a card. If they Caracas, Leofold, we draw a card. Yeah, it's very good. Uh, the other thing might be, like... Actually, with how Planeswalker heavy they are, a Tark is not terrible. Cause it's, it's, it, it deals five damage split among creatures or Planeswalkers. Right? Oh my god, and if we draw it, it's the worst. Yeah, then we can only cast it off Birds of Paradise. Let's just do this. What if? What if it? What if it? What if it's there though? I mean, that's. I honestly, I think. Um. Um. Uh, like, I, I. I. think us trying to heavily over board against Hangerback Walker is incorrect. Like, yeah, boarding in three just... cards to beat Hangerback sounds like a really good way to lose to every other card in their deck. Yeah. Yeah. So let's, let's go ahead and play first. Have a good set. Have a stupid seven. Um, uh, football Primus is in our hand, but the is nature's claim good enough? I don't think so. I think we we go ahead and try to find a better looking hand than this. Find it most to five. This looks like almost the exact same hand, except it's got fast bond, which might let us play some things off the top a little quicker. I'm very unhappy about the 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 Woodfall Primus in the hand, but I still think I might keep this. This is probably keepable. We get our scry. Bottom to the bottom. We need action. We need action badly. So we can sink them into Lumbering Falls. Yep. And that's what I think we should do. There's no reason to play the rest of the lands, but the Lumbering Falls obviously makes sense. Hopefully, maybe we draw in, a, like, maybe we get Strip Mine, you know, something like that going. Yes. We could just Strip Crucible them out of the game. We could draw a Fetch Land and then just remove every land from our deck. Right. We could draw Leovold. <laughs> Leovold on two sounds like a place to be if our opponent's on what? a fair start. Opponent leading on planes is actually pretty cool. They might have a enlightened tutor. And now we just need to draw any creatures at all. We can probably get the opposition down. If we draw right. a land, we can just if we draw a land, uh, we can just activate lumbering falls and attack. Or yeah. activate lumbering, lumbering falls, falls and attack planes. That would have been very... That's very silly if we can do that. Or what if we draw a time spiral? Yeah. So there's that, that inline tuner. What do you pick? What you tell us? I'm gonna guess, Monocrypt? Um, Solemn. Solemn. So there's the holding Monocrypt. So they're going to land Monocrypt Solemn. Yep. So they're going and now to they have infinite mana. Wow, this yeah. is... Opposition's real hard against an opponent who just, like, goes from one mana source to four this quick. Yeah. That's what uh, 
power will do for you. So, strip mine. Nope. Well, only a few more Montasaurs and we can cast Woodfall Prime. Hopefully they attack. Yeah. I'm holding the Lumbering Falls as a tap. It also is hexproof. Like, this is... Yeah, that that is that will work. It is unassailable. Yeah, that can't, like, get shocked. It can't get, or, you know, like, like balanced. It can't get owned. It can't get annihilated. Play, it can't get... They're gonna get, play Karn again? They're gonna play Doretti. Well, any walker they play, we can menace. Yeah, we, we have Lumbering Falls for menacement. Nahiri. Okay. Exile target enchantment, huh? They're gonna just kill Yeah, yeah. Them. yeah. Exile target enchantment, huh? Alright. Now we get to kill Nahiri if they attack. And we get to kill Solemn if they don't. Yeah. So we already got our lands. At this point, we just need to draw spells. You know, that part of lands and spells in combination. Wait. Ah, oh, dang it. What? Yeah. Oh, never mind. It was, it was uh, nothing. I had a thought, but it, it went away. Okay. Uh, just play Trigon. Or do we attack Nahiri? I think Trigon's more of a threat. Yeah. Uh, yeah, that was the one thought I had, but it was after the, the point it was useful. Like, activating Lumbering Falls and tapping the... Because I was hoping to catch it in combat. That's, that's basically it. Yeah, hoping our opponent would slip up. Which is sometimes a reasonable hope. Like, uh, you're, you're, you're right. That's, okay, Impulse. That's the more correct play to get rid of Nahiri here. I want Trigon down. I know that Nahiri can kill Trigon, which is an annoyance. But... Uh, if we had... Yeah. Uh, we could also just attack Nahiri with it, and then, like, it, she can't. Because her... Like, is her plus is... Her plus, plus is her, two. Yeah, her plus is two, but... Her minus is two. Yeah. She's extremely... Good at this. Good. Okay. But if if Trigon connects with the, then it's like a, a sort of. Okay, discard draw. Waiting for Biscuit Kinch to look at Biscuit Kinch's hand. Okay. Six mana. Lots going on here. They got a pretty big Super Friends thing going on, too. Mm-hmm. What is this? What are they tapping for? They are... Look. Their mana's complicated. They, they are debating. Oh! Removal, huh? Okay. Mortars. okay. I guess that's a fine removal spell against the opposition deck. There's the ready. There's, there's the ready. So they're going to chew through their deck. Yep. Oh ho. Oh, chew through their deck, huh? Oh ho. Oh shit. What if their planeswalkers did not do anything? <laughs> oh, that's. I have a, that's, a, that's, I, that's a hope and a dream. I have right a there. proposition Let's... for you. Plus, it's just like a 3-3 that can, like, attack. <laughs> well, I don't want to attack you know, if Nahiri can kill it. Yeah, yeah. I mean, eventually, though, you know. But if also, if they go to kill Leovold, we draw cards. Yeah. And cards are dangerous. Sense. Hopefully, we can draw... 2001 lands remaining. All right, so I guess our... Like, obviously, our opponent's not going to... Like, because they didn't make, like, the, 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 the plays with Solemn and such earlier, I, I respect that they're not going to, like discard their hand into ready, but they can't discard their hand into ready. They can't chew through their deck. Right now, they could draw, they could have drawn four cards this turn to, like, chew through and find, you know. Yeah, but now they're stuck with whatever the top of their deck says. Yeah. And they have cards like Ponder. Or, like, not Ponder, but, uh... Oh, God, problem. what is this? I don't like, I don't like seeing a lot of mana out of opponents in this format. It's just like Jace. Tamio. They can read. They can probably read cards. Six, seven. Oh God. Oh no. Is hanger this back. This hanger back. Sphinx. Hanger back on. Sphinx. Hanger back on three. Worm coil. Hanger back on three is something we've seen from them. 
Yeah, Hangar Wreck's the reasonable one. What if they also have Walkie B? I mean, that, wanna, that'd be hilarious because we draw three cards. <laughs> yeah. We draw a lot of cards off that. What is this? Mind Slaver? Yeah, all right, right. hang on back, hang on back. All right. Can we draw a Drifter? Hmm. Oh, my, okay, they're just plussing. They're just plussing. They know, how, they, know, they know how their cards work. What are the ults on here? You always forget because it never. It's like search your next like, card, uh, put it into play, and it gains haste. Yeah. So it, it's probably we die to a blight steal or something like that. Yeah, something like that. Is this sufficiently large? Anything? <laughs> An on cryptic, huh? Cryptic command, eh? Ooh. But what shall we do with it? God, that's a lot of options. Like, if they ult the hero, I don't care anymore. Maybe... Yeah, so, like, we just sit on it and, like, let them do it. <laughs> the hanger back is the other threat, but I can bounce that. Like... Yeah, we can... So I think we've got time. I think we're, we're, we're in a pretty reasonable position to just wait on Cryptic. We drew the most powerful card in our deck, and it turned out to be pretty good. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, and I... Yeah, Ogre points out. The thing I was joking about is almost coming to fruition. We're still... Here's the other... The here's the other time... time. Yeah, they do have a clock. Our opponent is on a, 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 a different sort of clock as well. Like, I can tap their team and attack them for six right now. You know, if they get too low. So. Like, they're under multiple clocks right now. And they have to just use the top cards of their deck. Right. And, like, Hanger Back Walker takes a little while to be able to attack. Exile target. Yeah! They're, they're getting rid of Fast Bond? Please give me cards. Why are you getting rid of Fast I, Bond? Yes, I will use Leovold's ability. It drew past the forest. Nah, I don't care about the Fast Bond right now. Like, I don't believe that's relevant. Do they have a spell that they want to resolve? Is that what's going on here? Is this something big threatening? And like a time twister or a way to restart the game? This is a lot of mana. Again, we are holding the Cryptic, so I'm not scared, but... That's a lot of mana. What could that be? I don't care about upheaval, and I don't think upheaval's good. For the, oh, actually, it might be because they, they have mana crypt. They could upheaval and float. <laughs> That's why they got rid of fast bond. That is why they got rid of fast bond. So, um, so it's already ults a 10. So we're, do you want to just, like, counter bounce something? Or counter draw? So we can, we can like... We could like counter and then like bounce hanger back, but then they could make it bigger. But they could always already make it bigger. This could just be counter draw. Counter bounce seems correct here. Yep. And then the question is like, what do I actually want to bounce? Do I want to bounce to ready? Because ready's on nine. What's the emblem on ready? Uh, whenever an artifact dies, return it to play after it gets to the graveyard. Oh, that sucks ass. Yep. Um. Counter bounce. If we bounce hanger back, I can attack. Like it, and get like Nahiri down to one. Kill Nahiri. Okay, we can try that. But that leaves the the hanger back in play. I think that's okay. Yeah, that's probably okay. Oh, uh, you see, yeah, counter tap. Yeah. Even if we bounce the hanger back, our opponent's in low cards. They could just like spend their turn like playing it huge. No, I want I want to ensure the death of Nahiri here. Yeah, we definitely want to kill Nahiri because that lets us like do everything. So we can play the signet because that's four to activate. Yeah. Yeah. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We're aligned away from just casting Woodfall Primus. Yep. <laughs> okay. The other thing is I can attack them, but I, I do want Nahiri off the table. Yeah, Nahiri like, beats so, so much of our, like, it's just good. And stuff. <laughs> Thank you. 
Again, they're locked out of Duretti plus to, like... Hell, they passed it, actually. They actually missed the Duretti plus on that turn. Yeah. We are not, uh... We, we are blue, not black. But Leopold yeah. is our, our friend here. If we draw Time Spiral, uh... Yeah, we draw Time Spiral, then our opponent discards their hand and draws one card. And we discard our card and draw seven and then untap our lands. Yeah. Other thing is that they can't, like, use this Solemn to attack us and try to draw. Yeah. Okay, they, they can use it to oh. chart a course. Nice. Nice, 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 nice. 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 Nice! Hmm. Oh, God. Tez, huh? That scares me. What four mana uh, artifact could they Just get? on tap. Okay. They might march to the machines. <laughs> Thanks, Garrick. I like having a stream of blockers right now against what we've got going on. Against March of the Machines. Although, um, if they march of the machines, doesn't that kill Mana Crypt? No, this they just five five. Oh, okay, just five five. Okay, so that just makes hanger back huge then. Okay. See, our opponent's under time pressure. Yeah. They crank up the hanger back. Yeah, that's why I don't attack here. By the way, the hanger back just gets chump blocked by my beast token when they come in if they do that because um. Yeah. It depends what they attack. If like if they just march the machines here. Well, they march base five five with four plus one plus one counters on it. Yeah. Did, like if they attack Garrick with enough stuff, we might just like let Garrick die. Oh but... sure, I'm not gonna bother if they try to go for an all out kill on Garrick, but they also passed again on Duretti plusing. So, I I think they're actually passing on the Duretti plusing for like. They have two minutes left. Yeah. Yeah. Time. Where are you going? Ah, uh, Garrick, I can block that. Yeah, just eat the beast. No, it's it's time. We we, we finally see re things that our opponent is doing because of time. Yeah, and uh, I'm sad that my joke is coming to fruition. I think we are, like, I think the, I want to draw a land here for Woodfall and just kill Tez. Yeah. Yeah, if we just kill Tez, then, like, the game feels pretty over. Because we can kill Tez and then draw six cards. Look at how many goddamn walkers you got. Oh, my God. Nah. Cut it out. We could draw with Garrick to draw three cards to find land for Primus. Ideally, we just draw land. Oh, ideally, we just draw land and do that. We'll we'll see how it plays. I really want that Tez dead, though. I feel like we don't win if that Tez is alive. Yeah. So hopefully we just draw land here and then it's fine. Yep land here. Now, do we make a 3-3 three, three, or do we draw six cards? <laughs> ha. <laughs> I'm gonna make a 3-3 three, three right now and we'll draw six next turn. Because I can't use the cards if I draw them right now, right? Yeah. Plus, we could only end up drawing five cards, mister. That, that's <laughs> if our, fine. If our Primus dies. One thing we also have to be careful about is I actually, again, I don't want them to be able to sack that hanger back anymore. Yeah, they do not have a artifact in graveyards because they haven't been able to. Actually, if they draw an artifact, it could be correct for them to just plus to ready to <laughs> discard it. <laughs> so they're going to plus their hanger back to 5-5, five, five, which is just, that's what I'm chump blocking. You know, all right. The coin... Mm -hmm. Continue. They win the flip. They're at 11. They draw. Again, this Leovold is the. Like, I'm so stunned that we found the card that just was the turning point, right? Yeah, it's just Leovold and then any castable spell. Because Leovold basically blanked both their walkers. Yeah. So discard any number of cards to draw that number. So discard one card to draw zero. Yep, they did oh my it. God, they, have, they have to throw in Dynamo. Yep. Yeah. Okay. So they're going to sack their, their hanger back walker to get three and dynamo back. All right, what do we draw? Nature's claim. <laughs> okay. Uh, do we want six cards here? This could be a situation where we draw six cards. Okay. That's generally like a cool... Opponent's only got a minute left, so like if we just put chump blockers in the way. Right. Um... Just play out all of our stuff. 
Yeah, wall blossoms first in case it draws into something cooler. Mold Drifter Piper. lets us menace. Mm -hmm. You can block one ones. And like we, I think we play birds over so we can block up one one maybe. We could probably keep Nature Claim up though. Um, or do you just want to get both dorks down? Yeah, I, I, you're right. Let's hold up Nature's Claim just in case. And like, the the birds don't matter yet because they're not gonna have haste. The the hangerback tokens aren't gonna have haste, so. Yeah, they don't matter yet. Also, opponents still got that that you know mana yeah, crypt they... issue if time goes. And if they ever pop their hangerback walker, then Woodfall Primus can begin freely attacking. Yeah, they're gonna get. They're gonna kill their Sack hangar, the hangar back, back to get Thran Dynamo. Okay. And then they can see. Yeah, then they can like see. Win in time. Okay, so I think we would have won that game if we played it out. I think the fact that we still have Garrick around and like some of the Primus stuff means that it's close. The f again, this is this yeah, turned it on a dime. Yeah, Holy it shit! Off. The re I th that led us get to the point where we activated a Planeswalker ability that said draw six cards, which yeah, Leovold, games where you draw that many cards without a downside tend to be pretty good. But Leovold won the game. Yeah, Leovold like turned that game from because we were I was sitting there thinking like. What in the world could we play that cha that makes the the board we were in very dangerous board any good? And all their looters turning off was uh you know forcing our opponent to play fair, right? They don't yeah. get to choose the best card out of uh five for their turn or whatever. <laughs> they they have to keep their 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 normal draws. So I'm very happy with that. I'm happy that we did get our fast bomb. Like that, that keep was so bad too. Oh my god! Like in the sense oh. of like, not sorry. The keep wasn't bad. I think the keep was correct, but like the hand. Oh boy. Yeah. The reason Narset wouldn't have worked is just because they could have attacked it. But yeah. The effect would have still worked. Yeah. All right. Let us find a stage one opponent. Who do we have on the the top here? We've got Ben Stein, ninety nine, born in the year yeah. nineteen ninety nine. That's that's the that's the last year that Winbenstein's money was probably on. Ah. G Crunch Seven, born in the year. Nineteen. No, nineteen seven. Um. Mm. Uh, this is. Yeah, we did cryptic command the rep people too, so maybe cryptic was the turning point. Um. <laughs> Uh, I think we can ship this away. I'm thinking about keeping it. And then we can try keeping it. Draw a blue source into Mold Drifter. We'll draw a blue source or a crucible thing. Yeah. This is this is a a, a, a this is definitely a fringe keep, especially unknown opponent. Like if they yeah. they have the rush down. Uh... <laughs> well, if they have the rush down, then Lionel Elves can block. It's true. <laughs> Lino or Elves, capable blocker. This is this is definitely I I will call this a a a, a, uh, a gamble gamble of a keep. There are definitely uh, reasons this could not work. Uh, there are definitely reasons this could work. You know, we'll see what our opponent actually is. Lotus Bloom in the exiled zone. Ugh. Oh boy! All right. Oh no! Do we have anything against Storm? Please attack the I'm, one. I'm gonna. Uh, I'm gonna um begin. Yeah, the next turn we can we can just play play Garrick and hope two twos get there. Yeah, let's begin like like assailment measures. Time time bomb set. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> let's try to get our opponent so low that they they have trouble comboing with something like a Grizzle Brand or something, you know. Yeah, and if we can just destroy all their lands, then they just if they just have Lotus Bloom. Mm-hmm. Garrick. Do you have a okay. Create a two two wolf. Alright. <laughs> yeah, I wonder why Garrick makes those weird stripy wolves. 
They got like the stripe on their backs. So, so like, these are wolf tokens from Lorwyn proper. They're made by Packmaster. Uh, yeah. Which Garrick was around in that point, but. Okay, scrub. Sure. Okay. Not this Garrick, though. Yeah, not this Garrick, but Garrick. Yeah, Garrick Wildspeaker. What's the text on Garrick? Here's our full text of Garrick. If Garrick ever goes below three loyalty, Garrick flips, and then. And then you, he can finally cr crank up so that he can. Uh, do stuff. Okay. So fi on three? Alright, uh. Okay, opponent is a weird deck. That's not what I expected with the Lotus Bloom. Okay, we now just need to draw strip. <laughs> I'm gonna deploy both these threats, right? Like. Yeah, there's no reason not to. And we can, like, make a wolf. Is there any, like, creature we would want to tutor for next turn? Okay, I don't think so. We'll think about it. Yeah, because uh, we would have to punch our own wolf right now we'll to be able to do it next turn. We'll think about it, all right? Like, we can't tutor yeah. for Misty Rainforest, which is the... Yeah, uh, if, we, if we tutor for Misty Rainforest, that's what I would want, or for Strip Mine. Yeah, if we can tutor for Strip Mine, I'd be all up in that. Um, let's just hit yeah. the... Tutor for blue birds to get to blue. Like, that's... Technically possible. All right, I'm scared. I want to know what this Lotus Bloom is doing. They have seven mana this turn. Like yeah. slam down Elish. Like what do we? Um, Four okay, color opponent. They, they're some kind of storm deck. What's that oh so my god! Five? Is it Elish Norn? Blue, white mana. Hey! No! <laughs> we have no creature removal in our deck. No. I'd say let's learn, but I don't think I know what the hell our opponent's doing if they Lotus Bloomed into Elish Norn. I don't know if... The, like th These cards don't tell us that they're... Uh... Like, well, this doesn't tell me Storm, you know? This tells me... Nice. Have you ever heard of a man named Char? <laughs> <laughs> Boom, 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 boom. <laughs> it's just the dumbest thing I've ever seen. It's it's a like this is a turn four Elish Norn equipped with a sword of fire dice. We're gonna die to it in two turns. We drew almost every forest in the deck. We're doing the slop again. I, I should have done that outside. But, um... <laughs> this is this is good. This is fine. I'm world, world, world... If we could... How would we show our opponent our blue at current? We'll find out. We showed them fast okay. bond Crucible. Yes! No! Yes, Soul Ring. I didn't want to know that. Well, I mean, I wanted to know that, but... <laughs> No, put it back! <laughs> okay, so they got a bad bob. They added this back for some reason. I've That's weird. That why. card shouldn't be in here. It's weird. It's not a good card. I mean, yeah. it's a 4-3 for 2. Sure, whatever, but... It's pretty good with SoFi, but that's about it. Okay, let's move on. Yeah, let's let's get out of here. Alright, so our opponent, I don't think they're... I think they're greed. Look at this. Because two islands and a mountain it says that those are colors in their deck. This is a... <laughs> they're, they're five That's, color, like... Okay. So, yeah, we absolutely... Pos uh, it gets an energy on attack. Sy or the, sy yeah. the siphoner. So, um... So I wonder, do we want, in the dark, showing what we've seen nature's claim? Like, if they have a... They're oh, fixing yeah, let's, let's bring that in over... Walla Blossoms or Finks. Yeah, I don't think Walla Blossoms is doing what we want. Finks, maybe. Um, how... I don't think we need to go in on Vivian yet. I was actually looking at Plow Under. Yeah, I know. Same here. Like maybe over Natural Order, or... The Natural Order still has, the, the like, a really couple good targets. I don't think that's what yeah. I want to... 
Maybe the Finx. Maybe we go, like, no, uh... We go, we survivability. Go survivability doesn't exist. Let's let's go... Well, neither, none, neither, neither of the creatures we boarded out could block Glint's Sleeve Siphoner anyways. Um, God damn it. <laughs> That's the that is the switch we made, but um So that's that's a mulligan, it's uh, easy. Wow. I hate it. This one, this one can at least cast a mirror signet, but what do you feel? Got him. Actually, you know what? Maybe. Let's get there. If they soul ring on one, we just nature's claim it. Yeah, it's fine. Maybe we, I want to draw fast bond actually, <laughs> so we can just like get that out of the way as as, as fast as possible. So our opponent's doing dumb things. They kept their hands, so they clearly have like the mana base they want, which is. This. I have a weird question. Suspend activates on upkeep, right? Okay, yeah, we just kill that. Oh yeah, I, I, I don't want them ramping, I don't want them fixing. I was trying to try to envision a world where we could be able to... Yeah. <laughs> so nature's claim there's their... Yeah, it does go on upkeep, so we can, we can draw step, draw kill step. it. Yeah. So if I draw an untapped land here, we time spiral and draw seven, and our opponent like goes up two cards or whatever... Yeah, but we go up six. <laughs> yeah. And I'll tap. Play some. Untap four lands. I really want to get fast bond to zero. I want that counter down. The only way Toxic I can think of it... for one. No! I... no! 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 Raven's crime. God, I'm getting, I'm getting one damage. Bip. All right. So draw I Garrick. Think... Garrick would be good. Tamio. Um... Any spell that's five mana. That wasn't even the untapped land. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. Continue the beat down. We cut them off the, 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 the white. Maybe that matters. Maybe that, that was a little more of their hand than, you know, they did go for Rakdos Return. Yeah, that was not a fun play to go for. Okay, that's a fix. They got blue now. GTA. Oh my GTA. god. Okay, so... <laughs> I love it! Actually, do we want to get rid of their mountain? Just to get yeah. rid of their... Yeah. Their... Yeah, you got it. Hey, what up? You have nothing! <laughs> Draw some garbage. I was breaky. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, Lana or Elf, why don't I have a GTA? Yeah, why don't we have a GTA? Probably because we have, like, a few, not many, all that many creatures. Can we draw a Dragon? Dragon! <laughs> Dragon. I like how we've started saying it like the anime. Yeah. All right, they're going to play a creature here, a sword or some garbage. Yeah, evoke Moldrifter. Compulsive research. Impulsive. Well, we know they have a land. Yeah, we know they have a land, so I'm betting they're, they're going to discard, discard Swamp. They're going to discard two. They're going to discard two. Fun. I, I, I'm I guaranteed. Because the, the swamp... Oh, I actually discarded swamp. Because the thing is, they missed a land drop or two, so... Oh, they missed it again. What could be green suns for? Leovold? I guess we just crank it and see what we hit. Uh, is there anything on five? Like, is that worth the... Uh... uh, no creatures. We could, yeah, we could just crank it for Trigon. There's no reason not to do it for four, though, because we don't. We, this gives us more options, and we can see what. Yeah. So yeah, nothing on five. Uh, yeah, just Trigon Predator is pretty good here, or Leovold. Those are the two, really. Problem with so Leovold have... is I think Leovold might get owned by. Wait, no. GT counters have a, a real hard time owning. Uh... Yeah, you, you draw. You have to get four counters, and then you draw three cards. Hmm, this is tough. 
Trigon also goes after their mana sources. Right, and their their GTA, which seems to be one of their their power plays right now. I'm I'm. You know <sighs> this is tough. Go with your heart. <sighs> I have a joke to make, depending on what your pick is. So I have to wait. <laughs> okay. Yeah, it's not Tracker. It's not Master. It's the Beast Annoyed Stampede. <laughs> get it, get him, Lana War Elves. Lana War Elves has gotten in for five damage. Get him. Any creature dies to removal. Don't be like that. Yeah. Any removal dies to removal. <laughs> right. We just draw a card off the removal. Yeah. Whereas if they fail to play a flying blocker or kill the trigon, the thing is they drew three cards with that tr with that compulsive. So I feel like they have even if it's just like that one menace dude. Okay, that's an equipable creature for GT. Like you know, here comes that two one menace, and then they equip GT and pass. Okay, well. All right, I'm sorry. Funnily enough, they couldn't uh, do that against. Let's uh... leave old, but we did not know they had Shriekma on their deck. Hey! So this time we don't attack with Light of Wonders. Yeah, because it, it dies. Avenger, huh? Avenger. Okay. Although if they just attack with their Mute Evolve, we they can, can block with... And then they would kill our board. And then they kill our board. <laughs> yeah. Although they... they uh. They can kill our dorks either way. Yeah, there's no way of us stopping that. So I feel like so, we trade with the Muta Vault, because, like, uh -huh. getting the Muta Vault off the table seems like a extremely reasonable, like, way to knock back their mana. Maybe I draw in a little, little more land and I can get this Avenger down. Maybe they don't spend the counters. Maybe they don't spend the counters. By the way, I think I like Vivian Reed. Yeah, if we make it to three, absolutely. Okay. There's that Glint Sleeve okay. Siphoner. The thing has Menace. Yep, so we cannot... But we can block it. Okay, three cards left in hand. <laughs> I see. Shit! Alright, that's our deck, huh? So we need to kill them very quickly. So just slam Avenger right now? I think so, and then attack them. Uh huh. Oh, there we go. You can't block the Glint Sieve Siphon Glint Sieve Siphoner, anyways. So you might even, you might not even block with plant tokens. Well, you're not gonna have the option. Yeah. Like it has yeah, pro, green. pro green. Yeah, pro green. There's nothing we can do about this. There's there's there. Oh. So our, oh, so we just need to draw some lands. We draw and, Misty Rainforest. Uh, we draw. We need to draw. We draw Misty Rainforest, Rainforest and then and Crucible, then, and then Crucible, and then we we mill ourselves out, but we attack with fifty power. No, no, no. We just draw Crucible. They're gonna mill us ten. Oh my God! Yes, we need to draw Crucible of Worlds. Oh, if that happens, they'll be so happy. Okay. Equip the G Tang. Glint Sleeve Siphoner. Uh huh. Here it comes. Here comes Death. Death Incarnate is coming our way. God damn it. We can only take two hits from it. That's fine. We can win in that amount of time. All right, 17, and our opponent's on fake 21. Like, if we just draw Crucible here and they mill our Misty Rainforest, I think we just win. Yeah, just kill them right back. All right, so first things first, let's see what our mill 10 is. That's going to be the biggest question here, is how what it, what changes. Okay. Uh, we milled Cryptic, which is one of our better cards we could cast. Uh, we milled, milled, we milled Misty, though. Misty Wasteland Strip Mine. So, yeah, we have a 1 in six, 16 to draw Crucible now. Okay. <sighs> would love it if they, like, spent the counters. Leopold would not have killed us through the mill. That's all right. They're good. Spending the counters on our mana, especially not going after the plants. Because if we draw, if we draw land, then we just five, six, 
10, 11, 12. <laughs> well. Deck. You're playing jokes on his deck. Okay, so I'm gonna just slam it. Yeah, like we slam it and like just attack for seven. Yeah. Game's not over yet. Because no. if we draw Crucible, then we can hella pump, right? Yeah, we draw Crucible, then we just hope there's a few... We don't even need lands in our deck. Because we just play the Crucible and then pay X life to fail to find with Misty Rainforest. Yeah. Bones on 10. Mm -hmm. So that we can just... We can just bang a rang them if we draw Crucible. All right. <sighs> okay, they can pay a life draw card. Because they have two energy now. This thing gets it on play and attack. Mm -hmm. They're at nine. Five cards in hand. Yeah, we yeah, lost we game one. We lost game one to... Elish Lotus Norn. Bloom and Elish Norn. Elish Norn. Yeah, Lotus Bloom and Elish. Okay, irrelevant land. How close are we to dying from GTA? Doesn't matter. We're going to die to the mill. Like, yeah. So n n nothing here... Like, So we're going to mill ten, go to five cards, and then the next hit will kill us. The GTA has no counters. So, like, our life total is irrelevant. We're going to take four, go to 11, but then we're going to, like, lose to Mill. So, the real thing that matters here is our ability to Avenger of Zendikar. Yeah. That's, our life total actually matters for uh, Fast Bond. Would love it to see them hold back and pass, right? Like, that's, that's, yeah, that's, that's, that's asking too much, I think. That's asking too much. Hmm... Are they gonna move these swords to the wolf? Yes, because the 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 uh, menace threat on the Glint Sleeve Siphoner we can't block. And we could chomp. We could double chump it if we really wanted to, but we absolutely no. We, do we that. no. We yeah, we we just take the hits. Mm -hmm. They can kill two plants or gain four life. Yeah. All right. Let's see what the graveyard ends up with. So. Because no locks. Here comes the mill. I think One in six. Hope lives. Hope lives. Hope lives. Hope lives. One in five, actually. Yeah, hope lives. One in five for it. 20% oh chance. Do you want to live forever? Oh my god. Give me the one in five. Here we go. Right off the top. They kill Toxins in response. They do. Okay. Yeah, we had, we had a 20% to win the game right there. Yeah, we had a 20% to win the game. Not, not even, like, maybe. That would have just been lethal damage. Yeah, that would have been lethal damage. Because, like, I don't even need to use the, 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 the Misty. I just play every land out of my grave. Yeah. So we attack, they block Avenger. They take five, go to four, and, and we die. Yeah. 20% versus Sword of Body and Mind when playing Blue Green is pretty tanky. Spots. <laughs> yeah, a little bit. Okay. Mm. <sighs> this was a weird match because. Our opponent's deck has no cohesion. <laughs> we Please finalize these blocks. Damn it. Yes. Okay. No. We Our opponent has this. Like, I, so I'm betting their their white is like Stoneforge Elish Norn. Yeah, but we we lost to some specific cards. We didn't lose to their deck. We lost to cards. Yeah, but my, that happens sometimes in Magic. Yeah, my seriously, my kingdom for that that Crucible draw would have been. That would have been a highlight and a half. We so we set that up as best we could. We we played two our outs. I want to see where it was. Yeah. So we get to see. And then they mill our Eldrazi and. And then we like die to, <laughs> to damage or whatever. Uh, it was the last bottom card. bottom card. It was the last card. But now they know. 
and knowing is half the battle. Bottom card. All right, then we duck out. Then we must die. You got us, General Crunch. Good fight. Uh, the duck. Making that change preemptively. Yeah. All right. On to the final round. Let's rock. I liked that a lot. <laughs> that was pretty fun. I liked, I liked that a lot. It's like, okay, we won the die roll. Would you like to play first? Doug yes. R. Santos. Yes, I'd like to play first. Yes, I'd like to keep this, actually. It seems like a pretty good hand. It's like Evoke Moldrifter on two, Garrick on three. Yeah, Lotus Bloom into Elish Norn is a novel. Because <laughs> you see, like, you see Island Fetchland Lotus Bloom. You're assuming that, like, something very dumb is happening. And then it did happen, but not the thing we expected. It's like a Vocamol Drifter. Goodbye, my friend. I can't I wait to play you with Astral Slide in, in Modern. Cycle Street Wraith, draw four card, five cards. Vamp Tutor in response. Oh boy. Mm. Oh boy. We're going up on cards, and they're going, they're going down, down on, on cards. cards. Well, they're just they're just going to they're going to they're going to Vamp Tutor for Ancestral, and then it's going to be like they <laughs> also cast Divination. Thinking hard about it. We got Garrick if they go for like any sort of board presence. Uh, yeah. Dougie Santos, the cousin to Dougie Jones. Mm. We, I need to, we're going to watch Twin Peaks at some point, Jens. I know. We'll get there. We'll get there eventually. Hmm. They're, they're considering their options. They have a 1 in 32 chance of picking any given card. That's Do you know how happy I am that Astral Slide isn't modern again? I'm fairly as you did. You play that in expanded. I played that in like that was like the deck I played. Like it had just rotated, so it became my extended deck. Yeah, extended. It was very very good. You you flipped up exalted eight. Oh nice. Hmm. A play next turn that isn't kind of limp. I'll take it. Yeah, I'll take a tracker. All right, what'd you grab? All right. Man. All right. Hello, everybody. Just jumping in. We're in round three. Yep, we're in round three, and we're playing. Uh, we're playing Crucible, Fast Bond, Strip Mine, and Opposition. Yep. We also have we're Johnny Two Garrix. They vamp tutor. They haven't done land anything, huh? Oh, all right. Yeah, <laughs> vamp tutor land to go. Can't play big Garrick. Um. We just like want to draw a card here. Is it worth showing him the swamp? This could just be like some cracks. This could this is probably make Garrick or just draw two cards. Let's attack. Maybe cracking them for five is worth something. I'm just gonna get Garrick going, get a little bit more board presence, force them to do something. Maybe counterspell. Let's take a Calcus. It really wouldn't matter too much. Days? Is the card they've been sitting on days? <laughs> yeah, that's why. <laughs> like, they're days against birds Forbid. on the play. Dark <laughs> ritual. What the fuck is happening? <laughs> oh no, are we dead? Are they gonna brain freeze us right now? For for what? Are they gonna? I, I would love it if they win. If they win off right now, I would respect the fuck out of it. Oh my yeah! god! <laughs> All right. Well, they're gonna. So four cards. What is happening? They're gonna pick two cards, and one of them is is uh. Are they gonna? Cast in flames. 
No, they're gonna Elish Nor and fucking unburial in the yard and then slam down a, a white source. This I'm, is I'm scared. This is beautiful and I'm uh I'm a little worried, you're not wrong. Cabal ritual in the gifts, oh boy. So there this is this is the storm. Yeah, we thought last round might have been storm, but that was quickly disillusioned. We're not Give some give it is just like a card you can play. Cabal ritual ain't. Cabal ritual is not, but <laughs> give some give it is just like a card you can play. Let's just they're just gonna show us four different <laughs> basic lands and it's gonna be fine. <laughs> they're just fake foffing us. Yeah, they grab underground sea, uh 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 polluted delta, watery grave. Island is a card you can play. Yeah, I got somebody on my side. There you go. There you go. I seriously was very unsure what the hell was happening after that. I thought they were like going to like play into a four cost counter or some shit. Like, but like, what uh, four cost counter cost blue three? Right? Like, <laughs> I have no idea. Apparently, they don't either because they're really thinking about. They it. are in the tank right now, and I have no idea what's in hand. I know we have a really good threat going on. Like, yeah, because if. If I've done answer, they have to they have to beat us fairly quickly if they are low on interaction. Yeah, I feel like two turns is our, our our clock right now. Because we can attack for six next turn if we really want to. But we can attack for more than that. I can I'll be making a two two with Garrick, and I'll be making uh, a two two with Garrick, and I'll be making a two like th that clock actually is, you yeah. know, three I think three turns at most. Contact for below for Modern Horizons, please. Okay. I've been quite happy with almost everything out of Modern Horizons. It's been nice. I even like the Wiggler. Yeah, the Chiller... Fuck me. <laughs> okay, so... We give them... We give them... Thought Seas. Seas. And Seething Song, I think. No, I don't think we give them Seething Song. Because if they have red, then they can, like, do some bullshit with it, with Fast and Flames. I think we give them Mastermind's fucking acquisition. Because they yeah. need double black for that. Actually, we give them Mastermind's, do we give them Thoughtseize, or do we just give them the Past and Flames? No, I want them to pay five for pla Past and Flames. Okay, so and, they, they get so they get Mastermind's and Thoughtseize. And, like, because right now they would have to have double black for our Mastermind's, and Thoughtseize don't do jack right now, our hand is blanks. Yeah, so we all, I kind of want to draw opposition. <laughs> yeah, that would be real nice right now, especially with our token generation. Let's, uh, so yeah, so you can have Thoughtseize, oh, put in Graveyard. Um, you can't have Seething Song. Yeah, I, I, I don't think I get, give them Past in Flames, I think I just... Yeah, that way they can't like go off twice, which is something, something you can do in uh, Cube. They also don't have Red right now, at least show. Yeah. They, I'm certain they're holding it, because they didn't like search it up, but they're probably playing uh, Badlands. Or just like this Lotus Petal around. They can't cast either the Masterminds or the... They can't cast the Masterminds or the Past and Flames right now. Okay. So they're yeah. in a not great position. Yeah, opponent's definitely completely 100% confirmed on a Storm deck. I would love them to Thought Seize me right now, because that the minus two health actually matters like decently, and again, our hand is garbage. Yeah, they would they would have to take like Crucible of Worlds. Sweet. So we get two we get two life off them. We get a little bit of their mana out of there. They don't have Cryptic up anymore after the Thought Seize, which is great. Plus they would have to like tap draw to make Cryptic like good, because if we don't if we drew blanks, we would just play our land, crack some clues, clues attack yeah. for a bunch. I say we yeah. just, we start putting our <laughs> opponent to the sword. Thoughtseize is like getting bitten by a wolf. <laughs> it's like, we're we're going to cast zero mana, opponent pays one mana, discards a card, and loses two life. That's like a pox. Kay. We just cast like pox. Okay. Alrighty, That's off the top of opposition, how, how good are you feeling? Alright, so let's go ahead and play... We might play the falls. Let's clack. Crack, let's clack a clue. I wanna... Sounds like a... Flintstone's alien. Yeah, if we do it this way, we can 
play cryptic if we draw it. Bam! Okay, so we tap their blacks and we tap. Like, we tap everything. Like uh, I just, everything. I just tap their lands. I don't just don't care. I think we do we attack with tireless. I don't think we do, right? No, we 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 play for their lands. Okay. Until Garrick can take over the game. So we need to stop on their upkeep. Because Garrick just takes over this game, and they this is the last turn they get any mana. Yeah, they get like two blue mana this turn, like one blue mana this turn, and that one whatever land they have. <laughs> Are you ready to be opposed? <laughs> this card is so dumb. Yeah, opposition is by no means a fair card. So, your go. Okay. And now next turn I get to tap five permanents. Yeah, we get to we get to attack for games six over. Okay. And games over. Okay. So, uh, opponent is Storm. Storm, huh? Vincer. Anything at all about that? Yeah, Vincer. Um. I'd probably say nature's. Let's get wall blossoms and finks out of here. Yeah. Finks could be do fine. We, do we want plow under? Over. I have no idea. It's probably not. <laughs> because everything else is pretty good. Avenger kills them really quickly. So, uh, we can kill a land with a... Uh... Do we want to rest it on for that reason? Is this the opponent we want to... Who, nature, uh, turn 3, 18 power and toughness for... Or even, like, kill two of their lands and one of ours and, you know... Yeah, so, like, maybe swap that out for... <sighs> Time Harvest. Spiral? Oh, boy. Mm -hmm. Time is only good if we have Leofold. Yeah, that's probably fair. This is not this is too dangerous of an opponent to give time spiral. Yeah, we cannot hand card. them that card. Okay. I like it. Leofold is exactly the sort of thing I want in this match. Yeah, like Time Spiral has graveyard hate, huh? Uh huh. Yeah. Yeah, but I, I don't want to give them seven cards. That's uh That's if that's the kind of hate we have, that's not the kind of hate that lives in my heart, buddy. <laughs> the kind of hate I have is shaped like a sword. Legionnaire for beatdown oh. ain't wrong either. That would have been, might have been real for just rushing them down. I like this hand because we get Tracker on two, Master of Wildland on three, and just push them down. This is, this is an aggressive, uh, pretty aggressive Push them down. Like that's what we got to do. We push them down. We don't have a ton of interaction on them, so we... We don't have a lot of. We have one interactive card in our. We have two interactive card in our deck. So yeah, Master of the Wild Hunt isn't like creature kill. For here, it's just like tokens as much as we can. You know. Mm -hmm. uh, sorry about that. That's we're we're a land off cast in that, and that's interaction. Yeah, that's the that's half of our inter interaction of our deck. Thanks, Birds of Paradise, for being <laughs> the third best Monodork in the tournament. Moltop. Okay. Mountain. That's got to be for, like, two cards. Pass the Flames and Seething Song. Yeah. So Fetch Land would be good. Best one is Death Rite Shaman, the second best is Noble, Noble Hierarch. Mana Flare! <laughs> Buddy, have we got news for you? Oh shit. So I can hold up Cryptic. We can hold up Cryptic. Do I. God, do I bounce that mana flare? Do I... What do I do here? We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven mana. Yeah. Well, it scares me because if they untap with it... Yeah, if they untap with us, they can kill us pretty pretty fairly. Um, I can play the Trigon to kill it, but I feel like I might die back is the problem. Yeah, we might, we might die back. And we can't play both. So I think we just, like, cryptic them. I'm going to draw card first. We can draw a card. It also gives us a damage. Because I'm not going to play any... 
I'm not gonna play anything from my hand because I have double blue, triple blue. Yeah. So we can tap forest to crack a clue. Oh, shit, I should have cryptic first to draw. That was incorrect. I did that. No. Mm, yeah, that, that I did would... that wrong. Because no, 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 never mind. There's no way for me to get seven mana and play Trigon. Okay, never mind. Yeah, yeah. I'm sitting here like going through like a lot of lines in my head right now. A lot of them. Because our, our opponent handed us seven mana. <laughs> So we want to draw... The card that puts the stop to this the most is Leobold. That is playable this turn. So Demir Signet, Cryptic, Bounce Draw. Yeah, that seems fair. And if we can draw a Leobold, that puts the stop to most of the things they can do with Mana Flare. Oh, boy. Can we, draw, oh. uh, can we draw a strip mine? Because if they have, if they control no lands... Yeah, I don't care if they're, I don't care about Mono Flare if they control no lands. Yeah. Okay, so Mono Flare maybe again here, tap out. Okay. Yes, yeah, trying to bounce it on their turn and then counter the next spell they play lets them do things like gifts in response. Yeah, I don't, I didn't want to risk that. Too risky business. Okay, no land. Um, no land hurts. No land does hurt quite a bit. Um, if we just play like Avenger or Trigon Predator, yeah, I think we play one of those. Trigon and like Master of the Wild Hunt. Trigon and I just like try to get the most power into play. I, like push their life total down. They're gonna have five cards and a bunch of mana to work with. Yeah. Let's just try to represent a threat that's as much as possible, right? So I go Trigon, Fast Bond, Master of the Wild Hunt here, I think. We could also do something very stupid, which is play Trigon, play Garrick Relentless, punch Trigon. That doesn't get us anything worthwhile at the moment. No, but next turn we could turn Birds of Paradise into Leovold. I don't think that's worth it. We can do that next turn if we just want to. That's That's... that's... Uh the, okay. So let's go ahead and do this. I our opponent has no sweepers. Like uh, they're not going to play any. Like they could play. I, they could maybe play Pyroclasm, and they would maybe sideboard that against an opposition deck. But I don't see them playing like Sweltering Suns or anything. I'm not afraid enough of it. Yeah. So, can they kill us next turn? So, we just play this fast bond. Do I go Garrick here or Master? Master is five power and toughness. Well, it's only three immediate attacking. Ah, true. And uh, Garrick's two immediate attacking. The thing there is that Garrick would let me set up that weird line that you're talking about where maybe I yeah. have to... Let's let's play click. Uh, well, let's see if it, let's check and see if it does the math any difference. We have there are twelve, so no, like three and three and two power are the same with our current board. Ex let's we draw land. Then we get a five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. No. Well, okay. if we draw a, if we draw like Misty, this ends pretty quick, you know. Yeah, if we draw Misty, then we they die. Okay, so but they have a turn with like ten mana to go off. So yeah, I'm hitting so I'm hitting F six and seeing what their five card hand can do to us. Yeah, I think we're okay. I'm scared. I'm scared because that's a lot of mana. Yeah, if they don't have uh, gifts ungiven, they're going to have trouble. If they have gifts ungiven, then we just die. Yeah, I feel like gifts is probably enough for them to just go off here. The thing is that, again, Trigon threatens that mana flare, which cuts them off of a lot of their, their, their mana. I respect the fuck out of being able to just playing that mana flare flat. Yeah, playing that and then giving like that's basically a signpost that says i'm trying to kill you now <laughs> i will kill you next turn it's like you must stop me so mastermind's acquisition oh, is this going to be gifts if they tap out is that good enough so they have a sweeper i'm searching their library so i don't think so if they had a sweeper, they would absolutely keep it in their side. That's actually the, that's actually the strongest point here. Is if they had the sweltering suns, it doesn't matter if it was in the deck or not. They could always grab it here. 
Yeah, because with the with the masterminds acquisition. So, but if they if they do have something like that, then we're not stone blank. Cause like we can like re, like uh do our adventure of Zendikar stuff if nothing else. Yeah. What are our creatures we have in the deck still? I could go grab a Leovold. I could go grab... Um, I think Leovold and Terastodon are like the ones that matter. Everything else is just kind of... I can grab Terastodon and play it uh, next yeah. turn with just going... I, I beat up my wolf and then I sack birds and I have eight yeah. mana. So... Well, and then we kill their mana flare and like fast bond. And like... Six time spiral. Oh man, time spiral is enough to just kick our ass down the road. Yeah, because we don't have interaction. Or desire for two, like, I don't know. It's like, this seems like an X spell, the way they're paying mana here. Did they rack us return us? Turn about! Turn about. Uh -oh. oh no! Uh oh! Uh oh! Uh oh! That's a uh, 12 okay. mana now. So the fact that they're doing this tells me they're trying to go off, right? Like, you don't take yeah. this action unless you think that it'll win you the game. The they is my exact could position. be doing it like this is this could be the kind of going off where you don't have all the pieces yet, but they're trying to find it, like that kind of go off. Like if they do anything that draws a card here, they have all the mana in the world. If they can, we kept them off of multiple Grizzle Brand activations. They only have one, around twelve. Um, this is this is just going to be us watching, waiting. As often it is against storm decks, yep. where. So definitely like the nature's claim in the main. I think we probably, honestly, I might cut out Avenger and try to go even more aggressive here. Finks might come back in just as a three-two. It's like a three-two attacker. This is game two when we're up the game one. Mm -hmm. So if they win here, we go to a game three. Turnabout is. Turnabout's. Scary. That's a hell of a money. Uh, but they don't have they don't have enough lands in play for that to go off. They need eleven mana for the full palancron loop, and they only make ten. If they that's only to go infinite with it though. Well, it doesn't make. Um, sorry, it does make three mana if they cast it. Yes. Yeah. Trying to dig up past in flames, yeah, because like if they dig up past in flames, they get the turnabout for plus six again. Foff. Foff. Oh my god, Yogsville and oh Past no! in Flames! Oh no! Past in Flames? Okay. <laughs> so we can't win. We have lost. Wait, no, 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 no. We give them... Fuck. Uh, yeah, because they can turn about here still, right? Because they're holding eight mana up. Fuck. Freaking... <laughs> Holy shit. Uh... Be prepared to see this in Modern, by the way. Okay. Um... I don't care too much about that Dire Fleet and the Cryptic, that sorcery speed. Uh, I want... Like, is it just Yogmoths versus everything else? Oh, Foff in Modern. Need... Fact of Fiction's reprinted in Modern Horizons. Yep. Um... Uh, so what do you think here? What, what's the, what's the, 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 the danger mode? Do I give them... I want to spend as much of their mana as possible, right? Yeah. Okay. Well, I can't choose to give them past the flames. They can just choose the other pile. Yeah, for, you know, that, Foff, this is Foff. This is Like, I could 4 1 this and they could choose past in flames. Like, yeah. there's no there's no stopping this. Like, this this isn't um, um, gifts. Uh, ugh, ugh, ugh. This could just be like Signet and Yogmoth's Will versus Dire Fleet Island and Past and Flames. Like, there's no such thing as a good split here because they have, they literally have it no matter what. <laughs> but, uh, okay, I feel like what I want to do is give them only. So many ways around it. So I think here they either pick Will, which yeah, the Victor factions are always something. I'm gonna give them. It doesn't really matter. The question here is, do I split Pass and Flames or not? 
I think the answer is yes. I only give them one. Let's just go with this. Yeah, because then they could go off twice. Right. Well, they can oh, still go off. They can still go, they go off twice. Okay. They matter. can go off three times then. <laughs> yeah, they can, yeah, go, they can still times. go off a thousand times. Yeah, they have to find a card to kill us, but that should be trivial because they can yeah. flashback factor fiction. Well, they can flashback goddamn Mastermind's acquisitions. Yeah, so they have so like. They can tutor. They have, they have access to every card in their deck. Ah, uh, lunchtime, boys! <laughs> uh, hi, kids. Is it coming? Is it coming? I'm Porky the Litter Eater, and I just love to eat. You can feed me paper or soft drink cans, but never, never feed me bottles or broken glass. I don't care about the cryptic. The cryptic's irrelevant because it's sorcery yeah. speed cryptic. What does that matter? Oh, God, another, another one? That's a weird they choice. Even have, they have spell mastery too. It must be it was cheaper from hand because it makes the three mana. Yeah, I, I guess they're going for a writ off this. So they if they were holding dark perdition, I don't think there was a chance no matter what we did. Yeah, like I think the factor fiction showing Odin LED was just L A D L E D L E D. So they should ca they, if they cast Yogmoth's will and crack lions I think <laughs> response. Like that's the classic. Yeah, that's a lot of mana. And then they can turn about to untap all their lands, and then they can Mastermind's Acquisition for any win con, like go, to, uh, you know, Mind's Desire for 11, or... Uh, yeah, LED is almost an... LED actually has an upside if you're playing Yagmoth's Will. <laughs> we're dead. I'm, is... I'm gonna... I want to know what their win con is. That's why we're playing yeah, we, here. I want to know if... I, well, because I want to know, is it Brain Freeze? Is it... You're playing Imperial Recruiter. See, God. we're learning stuff here. So the Imperial Recruiter only grabs a Dire Flea from what we see. Okay, they, yep, they LED for LED for LED for LED. Yeah, until they brain freeze themselves. Sadly, they've already cast the Yogmoth's Will, so that doesn't work. That just exiles all their deck. Um, right, they can exile but yeah, there's turnabout. I just want to know what the win con is. Like, what it. There's no maybe here. This is over. Because, like, yeah. they have Mastermind's Acquisition. This, even if they forgot to put their win cons in their deck, <laughs> then they still have, they still they have it. For it. It's like Storm in. Uh, it's like Ant in Legacy plays uh, Glittering Wish. Not yeah. Glittering Wish. So, uh, uh, wish. they can factor fiction, but the cards don't go to the grave. The Past and Flames is off. But I think they just Mastermind's Acquisition. Storm Count 8. So, wait, yeah. just, please, Mastermind's Acquisition, and then uh, Lunchtime, boys. Yeah, please. Ten tendrils the tendrils, us. give me the Tendrils of Agony. Come on. Okay. This, the, if this isn't the Tendrils of Agony, I'm going to be real sad. Mm, I want that. I want the Hamburger Helper. Give me it. <laughs> 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 They're making sure we don't have any bullshit. Yeah, like we're not just playing Force of Will because we have to do it in a blood <laughs> deck. Oh, I like our opponent. Coast is clear. So they crack LED now? I don't even think they care. I think they just... Yeah, they have LED to crack, but... There's acquisition, and then they're gonna go grab tendrils and ten... They're gonna do the, the like, 12 drills of agony. Acquisition has entered the exile zone, and then... Is it brain What'd freeze? It's brain freeze. Okay, so we don't have an Eldrazi to punish that. Uh, what? Okay, no, that's fine. Okay, I, I had to do math. I was like, wait a minute. Yeah, yeah we're, we're they're milling 33, 33 cards. 33 cards. No, no, 36 cards. Whatever. Hmm. You're right, yeah, I, should I should leave. Them. You're right, let's leave. Don't, don't show them cards. Alright, so we want... Porcelain Legionnaire in. We want to beat them down. Um, God, what else is even relevant? Chart of Course? Chart of Course and Finks. Finks? Let's go. I think we take out Avenger and Woodfall. We might keep in Natural Order for Ter for Terracidon. I feel like that's powerful that enough. I feel like that's powerful enough to cut him off. Can we do the Iron Defense? I don't... But like... I believe they have other ways of killing us. Mm -hmm. Like then they they do they realize we have that many cards in our deck. Then they cast Mastermind's Acquisition for any creature 
and because we have only lands, we lose. Right, they beat us down with Dire Fleet Daredevil, right? It's not, yeah. like, they're, it's not like they're damage list is the problem. Mm-hmm. Plow Under is something I could bring in if I want to bring out anything else. What else is bad here? Opposition rules, obviously. Yeah. Uh, how do we feel about Wasteland in this match? They had no, uh, ba- they had no non-basics as far as I could tell. Yeah, I don't want to, I want to get a little bit more of the... Tamiyo costs five to be a freeze. That's not great. Plowunder might be a little more interactive than that. We are at, we're at 41, though. So we're yeah, so, still. so let's cut. Tamiyo out could be real. Tamiyo out. I feel like Moldrifter's fine. Again, we want these threats. I think we, we could just rock it with this, because Plow Under, I don't see what's worse than Plow Under, because it would be like Demir Signet or something. No, I, I want those. I want to be able to ramp yeah. up here. Um, Green Suns is fine. Um, Crucible becomes better when you look at two other cards in the deck. So. No, I'm, I'm, not, I'm not adding cards to the deck. They, it, like, here's the thing. So you watch them go off there, and they stopped at 11. They could have went yeah. to like seventeen or like twenty on that play. Yeah, they, they could have just they could have just kept flipping. There was there, like yeah. they weren't you know. So we just go ahead and and run it Let's back rock. this way. You will die on this day. Like that, th- them going off there was like storm for twenty one. Like if okay, crucible slow, but if we wasteland, if we strip mine crucible, like fast bond them, they cannot win. Like nothing they can do will beat that. They cannot defeat that uh, <laughs> that combination of cards. So it's worth keeping in the deck. Plus, just being able to use Crucible with with our fetch land with like Tireless Tracker. Yeah. Also good enough. It's like it, the card's super good. I would love uh, to draw a. Okay, they kept a seven. So we actually lead with birds here, right? Yes, because that lets me mold drifter on two. It's actually better ramp. And if we draw into a green source, I can fast bond, or uh, any land. If I draw into any land, I can play the fast bond. Watery Grave, just to prove us wrong, reporting out our one waste land. <laughs> Do we just want a creature to attack? Predator's a, a, a threat that they have to actually answer. I feel like that's actually a little more necessary. Yeah. We can mold drifter next turn. We can mold drifter next turn. Predator attacks. Can we draw Misty Rainforest ever? Ha. Yeah, Misty Rainforest. Yeah, we, I think we've drawn Misty Rainforest once. How how is that nothing? It breaks mana flare. That's nothing. What the hell are you talking about? Uh, they're they're going they're going nuts. Though. Let's let, let let's let the chat be the oh, chat. Okay, sorry. I just I have to stop for a moment every once in a while. Um. What's a Vogue? Yeah, they do have Thoughtseize, so getting Predator down is pretty cool. If we draw an untapped land here, we can... I don't know. We can, like, Zenith for... Does Label actually do anything against them? Well, so Zenith is actually cool here, because they can't, like... They, they, they wouldn't be able to, like, replay that in some manner and steal it. Like, obviously, they played this as just, like, card on the table, but... I don't think Zenith does anything. Our opponent does not target us or our creatures. Also, they, does not draw cards. I guess if they target us with brain freeze, so it makes their kill easier. <laughs> Thought sees, sure. So they probably take the green suns. Yeah. Fast bond. Maybe porcelain or, legionnaire. There's, honestly, this whole hand is. I don't think porcelain legionnaires the take because our fleet trades with it. They don't care about that card. Ah, true, true. I think yeah. they might take green suns because it's the unknown, right? Like. Yeah, like everything else. Even though if we draw a land, we can just, like, play... We, we're making Garrick next turn, no matter what. Yeah, I'm making a Garrick. So what's Green like Suns for three? And, oh, no Green Suns. Tap land. Wow. Really? Okay, they have a slow hand. They're going to attack us with that Daredevil, right? Yep. That takes off one of the ten... One of the, actually, there's nothing for them. Yeah. Killing us with Brain Freeze, so... Thanks. Do we want to Garrick punch their Dire Fleet? And like flip Garrick? Yeah. That has, a, that, like... that has an overrun hidden on there. Yeah, it does. So 
So we're good. That then that mm -hmm. doesn't like leave play. It just flips. Yeah, yeah. We uh, we have our opponent has shown no card draw. They probably have some. Yeah, if, like factor, they, factor fiction doesn't draw. It specifically sidesteps that. So does gifts and given. Gifts and given does. They have various tutors. It's weird. So I'm liking Trigon as like this threat to make sure that like Manamorphose and like things like that aren't like they can't. Or sorry, not Mana, Mana Flare. They can't just play Mana Flare and ship it back. Like, this smells like a fa for a gift. Well, there's our guy, anyways, and it's our play, I think. <laughs> Where is this? This is the final game. Yeah, this is it. Yeah, our creatures are too valuable to sacrifice because one of them's our land and one of them is a. Uh, is our best threat. Wolf is black. As this game makes, we lost two, uh, you know, two in round two. Or do we just want, like, Kitchen Finks? The thing about Finks is that we can sack it to Garrick. And we could go grab, like... Anything? <sighs> yeah, Leovold probably doesn't do anything. The problem with Leovold is I think Leovold kills us quicker. Like, yeah, yeah it, stops because... the, it stops their card draw. But, it, like, that makes their brain... That makes their brain freezes brain freeze for four. Yeah, and that means they could combo us off on, like, Storm 5 or 6. Or, sorry, 7, I guess. Okay, do we play Fast Bond? Just, like, get it on the play? Yeah. The other thing about Finks that I want here, you truly really hold this amazing. The other thing about Finks and the reason I'm actually playing it is because it's a card I can sack to Garrick and then do some uh, some stuff there. Yeah. Because again, our opponent hasn't shown us legitimate card draw. Yeah. This this feels. I think like this a is EOT Fof. Yeah. The EOT Fof or EOT gifts. Yeah. So. It's gifts. So next turn might be spicy, and we've done everything we can to make that. So our, our, the, again, the trick is our opponent has so much searching, fetching, finding. We haven't seen a single card draw spell for Leovold to block. Yeah. And the 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 Finx to me is a is something for me to be able to search with Garrick and maybe find. Like, do we put Venser in here? We do have Venser. So that could be interaction with their go off turn, right? Yeah. So th that's what I'm thinking is we we go fetch Venser as long as they don't go off next turn, which I feel like it's difficult without them having the double mana to go off next turn. Yeah, because they um, they didn't show that many rituals. They have Cabal. They have ritual. Cabal, but that needs a lot more cards than they are. They showed Seething Song. Yeah, and they have Dark Petition, which is I yeah, whatever. that's that's a sideways ritual. This is this is a big turn. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Pass and Flames yeah. has flashback. That's what they're gonna grab in here. One hundred percent. That's one of the four cards. Yeah, they, we, might, they might just grab two cards even if they don't want to. But uh, they're gonna grab the full four because like they want free cards in their hand. Like you yeah, know. The, you grab the four. There's there's no world where it's worth it to just grab two here because like you know the, the, if they grab writ writ writ, past in flames that's always better than past in flames in one card. So it depends on the composition of their hand and the composition of their deck, but you're it's almost, almost certainly yeah this. Kind okay, of so I can't text. I cannot give them turnabout. Yeah, and so, I also don't think I can give them vamp tutor here. So we have we to just give, give them, them Getaxian probe and mastermind acquisition. Yeah, funnily enough, the probe something I would have stopped with Leovold, I guess. But all right, so turn go to grave. And I don't want them to vamp tutor for their... If they're going to tutor, they have to mastermind it. Yeah. Because they could, like, use vamp... That use Cataxian Probe to draw the thing they tutor for. Or they could, like, just... Uh... Upkeep. They could be holding Past in Flames, it's very true. It, it's That's the most likely outcome of why they did that. They're either holding Yogswill or Past in Flames. However, the the thing here is I don't think they have the mana to truly go off unless they're having their hand is a lot of rituals. Uh, this is seething song. Yeah, it's very likely, unless it's uh, mastermind's acquisition setup pass, which is yeah. the only other like line I can expect. Get probed to know that they can go off. 
paying that life means that they're yeah because we can attack for like I, I can attack for 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 nine right now if i activate lumbering falls put them at one so are they going off not a flare into uh so, they have so they, to they're going now. they're going off now then because we're we currently control uh, trigon predator trigon predator so or are they just this is so weird let's see what they got they could masterminds acquisition they could they don't have turnabout that's because turnabout's in the grave thank god turnabout's in the grave if turnabout was here they'd be able to they can't time spiral do they have frantic search is this Okay, LED. Oh god, okay. They're using Yogg's Will. Yogg's Will plus turnabout, the plus okay, so they were holding the the Yogg's Will. We lose. Yeah, this is uh they have Masterminds acquisition. Can they storm off from this point? One, two, three, four. So they've gone one, two, three, Yogg's Will four, turnabout five, LED six, search for seven, uh, get probe for eight. Vamp tutor for nine, go off. Okay, they've got us. Mm -hmm. So this is over. Now let's watch. Let's watch the fireworks. Yeah, it had to be Yogg's will. If that was if that was fast in flames, it wouldn't be enough mana. And <sighs> or so, if we did have Leovold in play, I don't think it would have mattered. No, the other hand had Dark Pedition too. <laughs> yeah, because Leovold would have stopped them from drawing one card with the Gitaxian probe and then done nothing because they didn't need that card to go off i have i have six a long time ago here uh -huh. so this is storm count six then they just dark petition for their win con oh sure they they they, they don't have they to they vamp tutor and then they vamp tutor and then get probe yeah to pay for life for the card Sure. And again, like, Leovold in play stops that, but they, they they literally have it off the their, their cards they currently have, so I don't feel okay. bad about this. They're going to Thought Seize us, too, in here. Yeah, so uh, Storm, it, well, they shouldn't if they get Probe this and Solid, we're holding stone blanks. Fine. Yeah. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, Storm is not a fun mechanic, but this is a fun deck that our opponent's playing. It's very interesting. The bad thing about it is it plays a different kind of game than other decks do, and there's been lots of decks like that throughout the history of Magic. Um, yeah, the Storm is not the only deck to play this sort of game on a weird axis that not all, every deck can interact with. I think Dredge is less fun to play against than Storm. A Storm, you do like very interesting kinds of math, whereas Dredge, your opponent's deck just kind of plays itself. Yep. They had a very strong down. deck. Yeah, opponent's very good. Hope they have a way to stop an Eldrazi, because that's the one down. Although the upside of Brain Freeze is Brain Freezing yourself before you go off. Ha. Huh. Just a mill your deck for Yogmoth's Will. Yeah, well, you Brain Freeze yourself, Yogg's Will, and then you Brain Freeze your opponent with the Yogg's Will Brain Freeze. Uh -huh. Alright, zero cards in deck. I cannot decline the draw, so. You flash in uh, Lab Maniac. Yeah, Jace. Get sucker. Well, Storm Unlimited is like dumb. Well, what Storm cards do you even play in Limited? Like Beast uh, Pack, Beast Attack, Wing Shards. Wing Shard. Well, Wing Shards is, right. the, is the fair one. All right. So we 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 got thrown down by both. Um... We got thrown down by a thought we a, a deck we thought was a storm deck, and then a storm deck. Yeah, th well, that was a mile uh, further than than, than like a, a, that was that was a real ass storm deck, and we don't have yeah. like our deck was basically unable to interact on that axis with our opponent is the one of the big issues. We didn't have um, like we had like one counter spell. If we had that that miscalc might have been something but you can't look that far back and say like that was a failing of the deck our deck was very powerful when it worked yeah i'm sad we never got the crucible thing off that was what i asked for so all right yeah and we never drew misty rainforest i don't think so that didn't happen <laughs> <laughs> or strip mine i think do we strip mine once or do we wasteland i don't know we had a wasteland in play and yeah their opponent had a had a library of Alexandria with a silver counter on it, but uh. All right. Anyway, that's gonna be it for tonight. Thank you all for yeah. joining. Thank you, Noam, for for joining on the the trip here. I'm Noam Benton.
Uh, if you want to catch more of this, you can always follow, see when I go live with more uh, magic or any other things. I've got a bunch of odds and ends I do, but, you know, cards are generally my number one. Things go off about 7 central on weekdays. Uh, yeah, cube. Uh, cube. Cube's around for a little while longer. You can always subscribe and get cube. Cube. All right, cube.